You are listening to the Hello Sport Podcast. What is up, punters and dribblers? Welcome back to another episode of All Talk with the Hello Sport Podcast. It's Tom and Eddie here as always, and very pumped for this week's guests. They are very dear old friends of ours. They were mainly friends with our dads, and, you know, we got to know them through through our fathers, given that these two gentlemen are stalwarts uh, of the Australian media landscape. 100%. Clancy and Errol, the editors of the Tudor Advocate. Australia's oldest and most trusted newspaper. 100%. It's extremely respectable. They've broken many groundbreaking stories throughout the years. And the boys are launching their very first TV show, The Tudor Advocate Presents. Fucking terrific. Mm -hmm. One of the greatest shows ever produced by man. They're in to have a yarn with us today. And what a yarn it was, Tom. Yeah, it was a big one. It was good. We um we are talking about their latest well, I think by the time you hear this, maybe their second ep- the, the third episode will have dropped, but they've done one which is on uh Hillsong, then the Super League War, which is what we really sort of drill down into. Um, and then I think the Cronulla Riots is coming up and then the fine cotton scandal, but uh, we sort of focus predominantly on the Super League stuff. Um, and also, as we tend to do, meander off into all sort of corners of the earth. It was like floating down a river this year. And you never know what's going to pop up, but yeah. you know it's fun. It, it was great fun. We loved it. We thanked them for coming on. Uh, please enjoy Clancy and Errol of The Batuta Advocate. That really couch, it's, a, it's like a, what's it? A, it's a modular. It's a, a six-piece oh, modular. Oh, this is off the big one. The, the, yeah. yeah. Like the it's, in the, yeah. it's in the garage under yeah. a tarp because we have no room for it. Six-piece modular. Yeah. Six-piece modular, From 1970s design. Uh, it's got an inbuilt radio that still works. We are trying to move it. Is, it. It is yeah. on Facebook Marketplace under my name. If you'd like this. We've had <laughs> zero bites. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, stands to reason because there was zero bites. When we first went into the, the antique store, it was fucking exorbitant. We were like, we really like it. And then every time we go in there, the price was just going down and down and down and down and down. And, down. and to be honest, we still spent too much money on it. Well, we spent too much money on it considering we don't use it. No. You could we, have just made an offer. You know, just, well, we did make no, an we offer. Did, right. we got so it had come rejected. all the way down. No, no, no. It come all the way down. We made an offer. We got more off. You've forgotten this. Initially. Didn't we initially say, can we get it down? And they were like, no, this no, is where it's at. No, 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 we got it down. We got it down. I mean, the first, before, when it was like... Oh, when yeah. he was, when he high, did, high. when he did the dream of, you know, sending his family to Europe, <laughs> first class. <laughs> On a couch. <laughs> On a couch. <laughs> no. On a couch. <laughs> he didn't move. On a wing and a couch. <laughs> But we quickly learnt with the couch boys that it's just not that functional. It's great for interviews like this. Yeah. Good colour. But it's not good to do betting shows on. No, that's it. You kind of fall asleep if you try. Like, you need to be yeah. up and, and, and into it. Yeah, that yeah. fucking thing was not. Um, but can I just say, quite genuinely, and I did say it to you both before we started this, but congratulations on the new show. It is fantastic. Thank you. Thank it's you. really good. It's really funny. Yeah. Uh, Batuta Presents... Is just the name, and then the Tudor like, Advocate. Patu- the, sorry, yeah, Bass. Dave. Dave yeah. fucking called me out on the podcast yeah. the other day because we were talking about how he went to the. <laughs> he was very upset. We went to the <laughs> red carpet, and then it was like, yeah, Batuta presents. He's like, ah, uh, it's Batuta Advocate presents. Like, oh, it's fuck. BAP. Batuta yeah, Advocate it's BAP. I'm like, fuck, sorry, Dave. BAP. Yeah, BAP. BAP. Yeah. <laughs> That's like what people? People. People yeah. in the press release Media that we didn't people. write. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, your people. The blue hairs. My people. <laughs> your people. Your yeah. army of blue hairs. We were in ABC yesterday doing some press, and we wouldn't be able to fucking. Write it, but we had a producer with blue hair. (laughs) (laughs) Send me their number. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh, Jesus Christ. Might be set for a job. Yeah, that's all right, mate. Look, yeah. Well, I don't know. Would we be uh, persona non grata if they realized that you work for a very blokey, you know, if that was your former job, maybe they'd be worried about. Well, they'd, they'd see my my little station there, and know that I was staying true to my own true, beliefs and politics. Yeah, no, 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 no. They, you would come back here with four corners. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh yeah, inside I, the problematic inside. fucking <laughs> yeah. underworld of yeah, yeah. he'd be wearing a wire. Young men in this country are led <laughs> Mate, astray I, by yeah. affable young men. <laughs> They've only got ten percent of their listenership's female. <laughs> Yeah, I don't need a wire. I've got mics set up here. Yeah, like, I've got Dave's the dirt got file a fucking already. Dossier. Yeah, he yeah. can yeah. sink us quick. Mm. Sink us real quick. But, but you're, you're happy with the boys? What's yeah, mate. Yeah, it was. Um, it was like, you know, we've said this a few times throughout the media run, um, of which we've saved a lot for today. Oh yeah, um, sure. But yeah, it was just a uh, just didn't know what the format was going to be. There was talk of it years ago mm. when we first kind of popped up online, 
And speaking of the ABC, you know, they were one that came along and thought we could do a panel show, you know, but we thought that was a bit tired, you know. The like the project, but Batuta. Or like even no, something like, like those yeah. political commentary ones where you play a video of ScoMo saying something dumb and then go, that's literally like... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Know, Almost John like Oliver, a John Stewart, John yeah. Oliver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah and then Charlie have, have, have like a short clip of like an ape using a stick to fish ants out of a log. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something that's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, they asked us. It's been done. It's yeah. been done, and that's all that's been done. You yeah. know, like that's when you put that is all that's yeah, yeah you're Australian right. TV comedy unscripted. That's it. Yeah. Like, what was what I really enjoyed? So I've seen now. I've seen Hillsong. I've seen. We saw obviously the Fine Cotton at the yeah. premiere, but then also the Super League one. Is that like you could do all of those stories in a very etch, a current affairsy sort of yeah. dark, you know, ominous musicy sort of way, and they'd still be interesting, like because yeah. there's enough there in those stories. But what's what you've done really well is to weave in your very specific sense of humor <laughs> with the story and able to bring levity to it, where like you know, Hillsong is a bit dark, yeah, but I was giggling, yeah, you know, but also kind of inspirational. You know, like the rapid growth of yeah, this fucking non-product. Like, well, yeah. well, no, well, like, like, like Hillsong walked so Atlassian could run. <laughs> and then, like, like, they were our first real, like, homegrown tech unicorn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're selling they, you, nothing like, to these yeah. people and they're buying it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, and, and like, it takes a skill to get, you know, hundreds of thousands of people around the country to a point of euphoria every Sunday morning. Dude, like I saw old mate the other day after watching it. I saw him in the city and I was like, because I didn't have the, and I mean old mate, uh, who's the Hillsong guy? Brian Houston. Brian Houston. Brian. You saw him in the city? Dude, I saw him in the city on Friday and I was I was walking past him. I almost went to go snap a photo, very 2023 of me, and I was like, too much of a pussy. But I, was, I didn't get the full context that he had been given fucking, he'd been kicked out of the joint after his yeah. scandal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, and, and that's the glorious the, thing about that story is mm. from the very start, even to the very top, it's all about power struggles and egos. Yes. It's very succession in that sense. Dude, completely. But yeah. like, and then the way that he, like, so, you know, he's expanded to the US, he gets a really hot, muscly pasta who's yeah. like fucking tight with Justin Carl, Bieber. Yeah. Yeah. Carl Lentz? Yeah. Carl Lentz. You know, he's wearing fucking Dharma glasses and yeah. shit and he's yeah. got his shirt off and he's fucking... <laughs> and he's cool with the black community. That was the big problem that... That they had, and we, we tried to articulate that in the doco, but that's where that's basically where Hillsong fell apart was during the pandemic. They lost their revenue stream, which was you know suckers on pews mm -hmm. every Sunday, yeah, because everyone was locked down. Yeah. And Hillsong music too. Hillsong music. Um, oh, people weren't buying, or they weren't coming to the shows. Well, they weren't releasing new music, and they and they couldn't yeah. do the concerts and shit like that. But on top of that, you've got this cool guy, Carl Lentz, expanding in the US who's from the South, but he's in Brooklyn and the NBA players fuck with him. Yeah. And he's kind of like, you know, he's got a little bit of that it's kind like of- like a young, cool Bill Clinton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he's got that cool white guy like, thing going on. A Dixie Crat, mm. but with Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was crazy about that guy as well was like, and again, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Like, but the way that you guys are bouncing Paramount between, Plus. Paramount Plus. The way you bounce between you guys talking, uh, you know, people like, you know, people you've got contributors who are talking and giving their thing. But then like the cartoon. The animation. The animation perfect. element of it's really funny. But I didn't realise that like they were getting like Bono and shit to yeah, these, yeah, to these American names. Hill songs. Yeah. I don't think Bono, not that I, I mean, is you two like a sneaky Christian rock band? I didn't nah, know. No, no. They, well, like, Have they just, snuck at Christianity? They, I, I guess that was just the vibe they were fostering that, they just Celebrities Irish. wanted to come along, you yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> like, wanted to come along or paid to come along? That could even be, I mean, you'd have to pay Bono a fucking lot. Yeah. Like, but that, you know, nothing's above them, like, or nothing's below them. They they, they would have done whatever. They, yeah, yeah and, and that was the problem where you start dealing with, like, this cult uh, phenomena. Where you, I, I wouldn't go as far as calling Hillsong a cult because it's pretty bang on a religion. It's all kind of cultish. Yeah, it's a bit culty, oh. but the, they develop cults within the cult, and that Carl Lentz became this guy kind of transcended Hillsong. Yes. And it was at the height of the pandemic, they'd over leveraged in 2019, they'd moved to LA and New York, set up shop there just before the pandemic, the worst time they could have expanded that aggressively. Mm. And their base is effectively like, you know, young, cool kids from the hood, uh, you know, and college campuses, like a lot of black kids uh, gravitating towards Carl Lentz, which is something that Brian Houston could never do, was like kind of no. cast a wider net. No. And then Black Lives Matters happens. 
and they have to make a call. Are we the crusty old Kiwis that started this thing? Are we Trump or are we Black Lives Matters? And Carl Lentz decided to go Black Lives Matters and it just ideologically split them down the middle and they had no money coming in and they were Also, Carl Lentz fucked them in that well, sense. Well, in, in that sense. In that did. sense. Yeah, he yeah. was too good at his job. Yeah, yeah right. He was too good. His, he was too modern. Yeah. <laughs> too modern. Too, well, modern. too progressive. Yeah, too progressive. Yeah. I mean, is it progressive to fucking be a, a Christian who cheats on his missus? Is that... That was what brought it all undone, wasn't it? Well, and then was that's it, Brian like, Houston was like, he was, he was well, like, it depends, jealous. depends what era you want to speak to, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, there's kings of England that yeah. were up to no good, so it just depends on the time. Well, frame. listen, oh. I think it's, it depends on the, uh, the status you hold as to what you can get but up to. The, the real question <laughs> is, would have we known? That yeah. he'd ever done that if Brian wasn't worried about him. Yes, dude, that thing as well, where you, like where Brian puts up an Instagram post. Yeah. Again, I don't want to give away shit. That's yeah. like, yeah, I'm, just uh, don't go through it verbatim. I can't something. help it, dude. I'm trying. Like I don't know a, how to. I don't know how to appropriately attack. Like it. a trailer that gets really yeah, carried yeah, yeah. away and just gives yeah, away yeah. the whole. The, story. All, all else, I won't. I won't go into it. But just the way that it seems like he passively aggressively, he's passively aggressively trying to assert his dominance and like don't flexing on each other. The, yeah. Who's yeah. the boss here? Yeah, was so bizarre. Yeah, yeah. But um, the Hillsong one aside, the one that we've just seen, which is uh, you know the people who have. Uh, tuned in already will know is the Super League one, which is obviously. Look, we are very religious at Hello Sport, but the the Rugby League, the Super. Well, League Rugby League gets its claws into me. It gets the it gets mm. its claws into the punter and the dribbler. I must uh, profess that I knew of the Super League war, obviously, but I didn't fucking know anything about it. No, like I didn't know anything about it whatsoever. I, I didn't knew that it happened it. around 1997. I know that there was two grand finals in that year, and that was. Basically, the long and the short yeah. of it. Yeah. So to to for it to open with, oh, this was Packerverse Murdoch. I was like, oh my goodness. I was, and this has obviously got nothing to do with the actual story, but I was taken aback by how how old they were even then. I know. Yeah. And to think that fucking Murdoch's still getting around. Yeah. I'm like, you like, were my granddad, <laughs> like that in the nineties. When dude. you were too young to remember. When I was too young to remember, you <laughs> were as like old that. as yeah. fuck. Yeah, you know. Even the black and white footage where you're yeah. like, Jesus, dude, you were old as shit back yeah, then. Yeah, you were like, old before color TV. Yes. He was yeah. in his seventies probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know, like and they both still had their tail up. Like They're I mean just still ripping. You yeah. had Kerry who was who was you, you know, had created, you know, one day cricket and and there'd been world cups there'd been this you, you know it, it had turned into such a marketable product and rupert had just been in the uk professionalizing their football there properly and then he first sort of dipped his toe in the water with rugby union so that was like t to use like like these war analogies that we've been using like mm -hmm. compared to rugby league professionalizing rugby union was like the first gulf war it's like <laughs> You know, it was like Operation Desert Storm. <laughs> Three Kings, yeah. that good yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Where it's like we just have to chase the Iraqis out of Kuwait, and, and we'll, stop. Call, we'll call we'll call it a day. Where you know, to professionalize the game of rugby union at that point, you know, it's like you know, the, here's a contract. You know, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll just have my father peruses at his leisure <laughs> and um we will uh, get back to you within 14 days see if this is uh, you know ipso facto re ipso de loquita you know and all this <laughs> like the rugby all these union players weren't things. unfamiliar with no. looking over contracts yeah. Yeah. Like, and it was yeah. like with their dads yeah. and that was, and, that was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and their lawyer the yeah. Yeah. and it was yeah. like yeah this is you know this is a pretty good deal like Obviously, this is not forever, and I'm going to go on to bigger and better things, like being the CEO of Rugby Union. Yeah. At some point. But if I can spend, you, you, you know, my post-university years up until you know I'm ready to start, you, you know, trading my Canterbury's for you, you know an Armani suit. Yeah. <laughs> if if I can make you, you know a couple hundred, hundred hundred grand of walking around money, that's fine. So it was very easy for Rupert Murdoch to professionalise rugby union through the vehicle of Fox Sports. Because there's only so many teams. Too. We, yes. Which is why both of them thought that what they were taking on with rugby league was going to be, you know, just a cakewalk. Yeah. Oh, they both, that, that's how they They thought, thought it was just going to be easy Because Kerry had like done World Series cricket. Yep. Um, Murdoch had done rugby union, dabbled in rugby union, but he'd also been a big part of the EPL, right? Wasn't he also, didn't, wasn't in there like something about him doing NFL in America? Was yeah, he? yeah, well, he well, televised that on Fox. Yes, so, yeah. right. Yeah. He was the one. It's crazy how fucking, how, like, 
two Aussies were such animals in the global sports yeah. industry. Or I, think like that's, I think that's slept on a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Rupert is a guy from Adelaide. Yeah. Of all places. Of no all places but to basically... Second only to Canberra in terms of shitholes we've well, been Capital listen, towns, yeah. I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ca- capital towns, exactly right. <laughs> and then rises to be the most powerful media baron of all time. Yeah. Yes. Of all time. And But, I mean, I do think Australians punch above their weight in that world more than we, we think. Like, because I know a lot of the and people... And at the Olympics. Oh, and bloody yeah, in the yeah, rugby. Yeah. You know, we, we like but to punch our way. You look everything. at the, you know, the, the when Trump got elected, who were the two people that played the biggest role in that? Fox. Don, um, Rupert Murdoch and Julian Assange. You know, one's from Adelaide, <laughs> one's from Townsville. Like, what are you blokes doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is Julian doing? Genuinely, uh, where the, is he? You know, they've got him uh, in prison. He's, he's, is he, is he he has, I think he's still in prison. He's yeah, in prison. They're he's trying to get him out. Albo wants to get him out. Some livid... D- disease. He's living in uh, in in Belmarsh Prison. He hasn't seen the sun for a while, has no, he? Is he no. is he in some pretty fucking? He's probably seen more now than no, when he, he was, was in the Ecuadorian. It it is a, a medical marvel that he hasn't come down with the shingles. Uh, this guy got him in fucking Redfern. Yeah, in That's January. The medical I think I remember. <laughs> <laughs> So I got what do they the reckon? Basement. What do they reckon? Not enough sunlight, not enough exercise, not enough vegetables. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you go to America and they're like, it, all the ads, because obviously Americans can advertise fucking medications and shit. It's all old people riding bikes. Like, yeah. don't get shingles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah don't um, be Tom. Punters and Dribblers is always brought to you by our good friends at Neds, the number one sports betting platform on planet Earth. They support us. They support the number one betting show on planet Earth. That is about even. They support me getting four from eight rugby league bets this week. Not a big deal. They support Eddie, doing all right. I did pretty well. You mate. did pretty well. We had a good week. I think it was a good week for the show. That DWZ bet, which you took, which, I you're, stole it which off you're allowed to, but yeah. that was my bet. Yeah. So I, did, I had a good week. Psst, I saw there was something in the air. I go, oh, DWZ like that mix up, that matchup, rather. I like him versus St. George. You got four rugby league tries. Yeah. I only needed two for five bucks. Two for five bucks is visionary stuff. Visionary. And Ned's is the place that allows me to be a visionary. It yep. makes me feel comfortable to be a visionary, to use the powers I was given, born with. Yeah. Visionary stuff. That's it. We've got our private punting group, which is on the Ned's app, second biggest group on the app outside of their open racing group, which you don't need a password to get in. So obviously it's easy to get into. But the secret password is Dribbler. No S. No S. Get in there. We share bets. We shoot the shit. We have a good time. Um, but that's that's Ned's for you, baby. That's Ned. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on screen or visit the website. Yes. How do you approach something like the Super League War? Like, where do you start? Do you go down to the yeah. library and start digging through well, books? Well, the, the, you- the one thing that everyone thinks about when they think Super League War is we, I feel, a lot of people laugh about the now discontinued franchises that they tried to create. Mm. One of which the North Queensland Cowboys was. And it stayed. Uh, we always laugh oh. about the Hunter Mariners. We laugh South about Queensland the Perth Reds. South Queensland Crushers, Perth Reds. Storm. Adelaide Rams is the really fun. Oh, they're the, the Rams. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, the Rams. Adelaide uh, Rams is crazy. They um, they, they had Rupert Murdoch on there. Like, <laughs> like, like he's worth 800 rocks at this point, And he's up there like holding a steed and backwards and just being <laughs> With like, Karen hey, Walters. hey. And oh, then oh, shit. he has a kick at goal in like his like $900 loafers <laughs> and fucking just- Why like, those just cunts feel the like they need to insert themselves well, into it, the point of kicking a football? That, that's where it got to the point where they're like, we're at war now. We have to bring out the big guns. I think when you think about who Rupert Murdoch is now, when you think about how who decides who wins wars- he decides who wins elections, yeah, presidential yeah, yeah. elections. To think that not even 30 years ago, this poor bloke had to put himself on Adelaide Oval with Kerrod Walters <laughs> yeah. in an Adelaide Rams jersey, trying like, to get this thing off the ground. And, and, there were people, <laughs> and there were people who went to high school with Rupert there just going, hey, Rupert, give us a talk, Rupert. Yeah. yeah, knowing the Unco guy that, yeah. that, that was at school. Where he's well, you can't, say, you can't say he hasn't earned it, right? Yeah. From that he, perspective, he, like he's... He's got that dog in yeah, yeah. He's a savage, he's, dude. He's the fucking Andy Dufresne of, of, of Australian fucking media. Like, <laughs> he's crawled through a river of shit yeah. and come out clean on the other side. Yeah, yeah. And only, only in his later life has he become the villain. Like, it was always Kerry was the villain. Right. Kerry had a good larrikin thing going on, but he was a big, mean bully. He yeah, looked you know. terrifying. There's, yeah. there's a photo That's that you use... Heavy. He was a big, big hole. When you man. use, like, there's, like, a graphic where you yeah. sort of have, like, a thing of uh, of Kerry and fucking Rupert. And the face that Kerry Packer would pull is just... And I was... 
every time it came up, I was like, dude, he looks fucking terrifying. Like, yeah. if he was screaming at you, yeah. and at one point where he sort of threatens a bunch of people yeah. in that thing, where it's like, I guess when there's like a moment where- The loyalty contract. The loyalty yeah. contract, yeah. where he's like, you know, sign this in two days or you're fucking, and then if you or don't- I'll Or you I'll come for you personally. Yeah. I'm being. I'm now like wigging out about giving away too. No, much. you're not. You're right. It's all right. <laughs> no, it's we've all got right. plenty that we couldn't, that like we couldn't necessarily fit in because it was all nasal gazing, like navel gazing. But like, um, you know, obviously that Adelaide Rams thing, we didn't get to finish because there was too much of it. Like, there's him on the oval with Kerrod Walters. They fly out the American. Uh, what, what would you call this genre of music? Twist. Musician? Um, uh, no, it's it's his his he he was one of the pioneers of big band swing. Yeah, um, swing. Fats, was it Chubby Checkers? Chubby Checkers. Chubby yeah. Checkers. They had him out there on Adelaide Oval wearing full Adelaide Rams kit, going, "Let's twist again, like we did last Get summer." Fuck. Yeah, 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 I know. Oh, that like, was before that's the Tina. most rugby league thing ever, though, dude. <laughs> and this is when ninety in the in ninety five, ninety six. Yeah, yeah. The amount horses. of money as well, I didn't entirely like. I'd heard some Dell stories, like you know mm. about, you know what he got paid, but the the Bradley Club one, I was like, holy fucking shit! Or yeah, staggering money, staggering, yeah. yeah. Or or the way that they get the sharks yeah. on board is yeah. so. I know, like, and you got you got a, a, a young Matt Rogers, Matt Rogers going, nineteen years old. What are you talking about? So like that shit like, is hilarious. The absolute crux for this story started when we when we interviewed Matt Rogers on our podcast mm. and we briefly touched on the Super League Wars and like and like where he got his real start as a foundation player for the Sharks. And he was like, oh, mate, there were people like climbing through windows because they'd be like, like, like they'd been paid through the window at a team meeting and they couldn't go back into to the room. So, so they had to climb out of this window after they'd been given this like after they had like a brown paper bag of cash money up front like, like like so all 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 these people would be like where did fucking matt go and yeah. it's like he went into the bathroom got paid like ninety thousand dollars in cash just as like a sign-on bonus <laughs> and he crawled out the fucking window <laughs> yeah it yeah. is like, unbelievable well like, i mean that that was uh, for the uh telegraph journalists who are going to run that it wasn't matt that did that matt told us the story no, of someone yeah, yeah. doing that but um, yeah. <laughs> these yarns that we put in it, right? And you mm. think they're mind blowing. These are the only ones we could clarify. There's plenty of like yarns. Where you know do you hear these so whispers many yarns. from? Like they, they, they'll, they'll all tell you. The journal. Oh, like so they or, tell you, but they they'll can't tell you. But you know, the ones that they want to, you know, put on air. That was, you know, we got, we got those ones. We got yeah, Johnny like, Brewer. We spoke to. We could, we couldn't actually fit him in, but he was on the back end of his career. Journeyman. I didn't even know the fuck that is. Johnny Brewer was a journeyman for Balmain. Mm. Chasing maybe forty k for one more season, and yeah, then the boys he, said, like, "Mate, he, go along. Everyone's getting a start." And all he said, all they were told, telling each other, the players was, "When they make you the offer, say this is all you got to say." I was hoping for a bit more up front. <laughs> Every one of them did. It. There's so many stories like that, and then there's yarns like the way they had to travel to get these guys because they had to get them away from home. To get away game. So yeah, you, and you it was all like in the cover of darkness. In the cover of no, but there were yarns. On April Fool's Day. Yeah, yeah. That was nice. Blitzkrieg. <laughs> that seemed intentional though, right? That's yeah, got yeah, it. Was that intentional? Do you, do you think no, it was, it was April Fool's Day weekend. They were, yeah. But do you so think that was doing uh, it on that day was like an intentional <laughs> Absolutely fucking, not. Like, <laughs> like, no, like, like having now. Okay, all, right. Like having interviewed all of these guys that just would have been at the back of their mind. Yeah, it wasn't about thing. like let's try and do something fucked. Like, but there was one really fucking funny story. This is a yarn, so you don't know if it's like like how above board it is. But it was how when the Super League went over to New Zealand to, to try to um, <laughs> this is, this is, we tried to animate to try this. to sign some players. <laughs> they, they they just couldn't. We couldn't. <laughs> they couldn't get it right. We yeah, couldn't. We like, couldn't animate it because yeah. <laughs> The boys involved don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Right. Okay, right. So, basically, so basically, they send over this pencil neck fucking dude. Murdoch. Murdoch. From, like, mm. from the Super League who's like, all right, I'm going to go over and sign some Warriors players. There's one guy there who was really, really good. The captain. Yeah, yeah. The captain. And they were like, all right, this is what we're prepared to offer you. And it was like a telephone number. And he was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. So um, they were looking for Johnny so and so. It was an yeah. Islander name, Johnny yeah. so and so. Yeah. So they and make the offer. <laughs> so they make the offer, and 
So as 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 this guy's walked into the room, he's been like, "Oh, this is a lot of people just f- for little old me." Uh, and he was like, "All right, here's your check. Here's the sign-on bonus." He, you, you go, and he goes, "Uh, yeah, sure. That's like that. That'll do just fine." <laughs> he leaves, like runs for his life. Then in walks the actual Warriors captain <laughs> and goes, "Hi, whose, whose name is Johnny?" I'm, Something, 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 other Islander name. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah, and this guy f- f- from the Super League has realised that he's given, like, a proper, proper Kiwi journeyman <laughs> a, an, a, an absolutely abhorrent amount of oh money. Oh, my God. So, uh, this and guy, yeah, because this guy from the Super League couldn't tell any of them apart. He doesn't know. He doesn't know <laughs> the fuck like, like, that is. Because he was like, so Murdoch, like, it was a Murdoch suit. He yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't know what he's shit. Doing. Yeah. yeah. And so he's fine. Like, so this fucking dude has taken off in his tarot cash suit down the hallway, running down the stairs going like, where the fuck is this guy? <laughs> and he, he catches him, which is the worst part. And he, he just goes, he, whoosh, yeah. come back upstairs and we'll, and we'll do you a much better offer. And he was like, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, so, oh no. But yeah, he... he he, he bolts out of there, gets to the lift. He's down at the bottom. He's holding the check. And then they figure it out. They meet the captain. We've just given a fringe fucking warrior a salary that belongs to a captain in a distorted Super League war. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. Millions, maybe, yeah. to a fringe bloke. So they hit the stairs and they yeah. met him down the bottom. and well, like, like, oh, like, like Clyde bloke. What he oh, got? Bradley, yeah. Clyde. Bradley Clyde. Bradley Clyde. Oh, my God. Equivalent of kind of winning a small power ball. <laughs> <laughs> Which like my old man does. did the other day. He kept me a message. Hey. He won power. Not, I don't think it would be anything like that. He won 14 grand. He won, he won, <laughs> right. he won <laughs> right. 14 right. grand. He won 14 yeah. grand. He sent us a text the other day. I'm like, there you go. That'll pay for the debt. But so, so, so back ha- into it now. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah, to me. Yeah. Where, like, where do you hear these yards? Well, I've got we, to, so, so, so trying to understand how you can unearth this, yeah. this All right, great So stuff. how it works is, right, we have a list of people that we would like to talk to. Mm. We go to them usually and then they and then we sit down for about an hour like this yeah obviously we can't put everything in but we talk about things we like we prompt them to tell these stories we kind of tell them what we want to ask so they've got time to really kind of wrap themselves up and you know get all their ducks in a row and we're just like that's great thanks goes a bit further down the line uh to um you know, the people who probably went to, you know, universities, you know, of note <laughs> and do courses of note. Yes. Made of sandstone. Uh, yeah. Those kind of universities. Yeah. 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 And, they uh, don't look like, they, they, don't, they, don't, yeah. like they, don't, have, they don't have colleges at like the, towers. No, Not the old sinking demountables. into the ground. So <laughs> they, yeah, and they go to pubs uh, that have, you know, n- nice things like indoor heating and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But they don't like, people like streety so anyway, fridges off balconies. No, no it goes off. They don't have a disco ball in a dance floor that is dipped into the venue and no. it looks like a bull sale. No, and it, is, and it isn't like a person throws a pool ball at a vending machine <laughs> and the glass just breaks and then the, 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 the vending machine is sort of disemboweled like an extra on the Shaun of the Dead or something yeah yeah like it looks that, like the last know? of us like, everyone's crawling in there yeah. like ah oh Jesus oh Jesus <laughs> yeah uh, and then word spread like wildfire yeah. that yeah. maybe someone maybe someone's put a cue ball put a cue ball <laughs> through the, the vending machine and it's a fucking free for all down there um, I yeah. love Aero <laughs> yeah. and the last thing left mint arrows, baby <laughs> I, I, I like the Anticol like yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, ah, just Anticol left. Yeah. Like, oh, well, I'll yeah. well, help well, myself to two well, It's free. Yeah, it's, it's free. Cold. You can melt yeah. this down. Yeah, yeah that sounds So basically, right. it goes off to lawyers and then... <laughs> <laughs> and then... Good ones. The, the lawyers yeah. come back and say, unverified, unverified, yeah. extremely defamatory, yeah. extremely defamatory. This one's good. You can put this in there. No one's going to get sued over this. Right. Are you doing all of the interviews? Like, do you, is that sort of, how, yeah. how much of it do you a few we want to be like, like yeah. well, you few. guys want to be there trying to get yeah. the, like, extract the fucking well, information? The way it all started was with the Super League War. Like, that was the first idea we had. Right. 
It was we interviewed in about the space of a month on the Batuta podcast. We interviewed Matty Rogers and then we interviewed ET. Mm. ET was on there to talk about fishing. Matty Rogers was on there to talk about their charity that he, that he runs with his wife. We ambushed both of them individually yeah. and said, "Tell us about the Super League War." Uh, first of all, I said to, we said to Matty, "Tell us about playing for the Wallabies." Mm. Did you take a pay cut for that? And he yeah. laughed at me, yeah. laughed in our face. We didn't take pay cuts. <laughs> 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 no, I've like, never hey. taken a pay cut in my life. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> so it's basically, Matty, Matty Rogers got to ride that Super League, yeah. that Wallabies, Wallabies glory. He had is. a few good little, you know, and then come back and play Origin. Um, but Matty was basically saying that story, which appears in the documentary. But there was, it's interesting to pair the two stories because they were the similar stories. That's when we thought maybe we can do this. These blokes are willing to talk about it. We've yeah. kind of caught them off guard here, but they want to talk about it anyway. They don't give a shit. You know, they've made their money. They're yeah. retired. It's all good. It's not like you've done it. Yeah, Matty Rogers is doing charities. ET's doing fishing. Yeah. Um, so the yarn was that ET was in on it, and then ET goes and talks to the boys about it, and he'll obviously in the docker we it go. It seems like they they identify like the fucking key, yeah. the key like linchpin of each side. Yeah, yeah. Chief will get the knights. Yeah. ET will get the sharks. But – because these boys are still, they're not really professional yet, so it's still very much the younger boys. There's no agents involved. They all kind of follow the leader. That was always crazy as well. Yeah, it's like yeah. the whole bus of fucking players <laughs> rolling into yeah. these meetings. It was, yeah, it was a bit before the agents, you know. So right, and, they're, and they're going, if you sign there, you get the signing bonus. It was crazy. Yeah. They're all no money. And either. again, yeah, like the like, average was fucked. The way yeah. the Knights, the way the Knights do don't go to the Super League is the most like <laughs> ridiculous where it's like, oh yeah, this one guy yeah. and like the way that they sort of like got, got him over the line. But how they got him over the line yeah. as well. Yeah, that's what so I mean. they get him over the line in the most ridiculous circumstances <laughs> to the, the point, point where one guy fucking... like leaves a business and shit, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. Well, uh, I mean, and, and it's, it's not said in the documentary, but that's how the footy show started. Is that is that really yeah, how because it was? Because they didn't they need they needed to <laughs> get to a put certain somewhere. they need to get a certain someone off the news. <laughs> yeah. Not a desk. Yeah. yeah, it's like he was he was terrible at reading the news. Yeah, yeah. dude, I've been the news. worst of all time. Yeah, yeah. But, like, but like the people of Newcastle found that candid. But the problem was is that he was like not just Newcastle. It was most. Bit, you, you it was Sydney. it was most of like the. The, the, the mid north and the north coast so like these people like from like newcastle to basically to tweet heads uh sort of listening to chief go like oh all the nurses are on strike and you know they want some more money yeah. and like you know just like the teachers haha and up next he's Graham with the weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it was not exactly not. a dynamic news. <laughs> yeah, no, but, but um, to be honest, they but, they got the best out of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah fucking oath. Where's the camera? <laughs> fucking oath. But the um, the the the. The fact that there weren't managers, and that, that was when we thought we could tell this story because these boys, they weren't tied up. These stories aren't really that um, you know, NDA'd. The, yeah. You know, and. It's from a funny time in their lives. They were young blokes. We talk about when we were young blokes. And yeah. It's like everyone thinks it's going to be so scandalous. But, you know, the fact of the matter is E.T. had been told, he goes, we're in Perth. We're going to hit the boys with this offer made by another league. <laughs> and he said, I just want you to know, because I know that they're changing history in this moment. And E.T. doesn't really feel so good about that. And he goes, <laughs> he knows they got fans and they got board members and yeah. they got shit. And he goes to the boys. You, you'll be able to use the phone when they make the offer to you, but I want you to make your own decision. <laughs> and they're all, fuck, mate, they're all young kids. So, but they're also, so Matty like Rogers runs to the phone, the hotel phone, Matty Rogers calls up his wife and goes, I've been offered this much. And she goes, do whatever E.T. does. <laughs> <laughs> E.T.'s like, no, no, that's not what I want. But um, that yeah, was when we first is. started talking about it. And, uh, you know, and there's the stories of like that came up in terms of that conjecture of, People meeting in what's that famous KFC between um, like uh, Wirrumbah, uh, North Coast, New South Wales? I don't know the famous KFCs of New South Wales. They're in K KFC car yeah. parks. They had blogs going on. KFC one. car parks. Oh, it's famous maybe, KFC maybe it's like a car super parks. Now. Yeah, here we go. What Dave. the one? The one uh, outside oh, of Newcastle at on the fucking Coast. yeah, Wirrumbah. We, we, we oh no, at Williamstown. No, no, it, it's got like a big Mac's at Williamstown. Oh, Not Wyong. No, no, around that area. Go on, Dave. This is we're putting you to the test here, mate. Uh, putting you to the uh, test, mate. Around the Newcastle. Full time, full time to your Wyoming. Wyoming. No, that's Wyoming, America. No, that's in America. No, 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 no
maybe it doesn't exist anymore. Irimba. Urimba. Arimba. 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 Arimbula. 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 Marimbula. Marimbula. No, Arimba. Arimba. There's Arimba and there's Marimbula. Marimbula South. No, Marimbula South. It's Arimba. Is it Arimba? Is there an Arimba KFC, Dave? Or it was a super center or something. O U R I M B A H. Arimba. There's also a big one at Newcastle, outside of Newcastle. What's it called? At Hexham. Hexham. That's a glorious Is that the one where we stopped on the way back? So you pull into the car park and then you got to get through it to get to the shop. That one with the olives. All of us. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. I don't know where my KFCs are. Oh, I like KFC. I oh, I'm not a, I love KFC. This is it. This is not an ad for KFC. Just shouting out. Tari Super Center. Tari Super Tari Center. Tari Super Center, mate. I've never been to Tari Super Center and it not have been heavy. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah? Oh, it does one of the great <laughs> trades all time. Yeah, I, I wonder what it's turning it's, up. It's, oh, <laughs> mate. It'd it's, be... If they're, not, if they're not worth 100 <laughs> fucking big ones, I'm not here. Like, they've really? completely fucked the town. Like, they've oh. com- the bypass, like... People used to pull in for a feed in Tari and get the, some fuel. Well, the whole, the whole, the whole oh, oh. super center. The whole mid, the whole <laughs> mid to north coast was quaint little towns. You'd pull in, <laughs> you might buy a little bloody a, a little belt from a shop that, yeah. uh, from a leather a and leather Aussie, maker. Like yeah. a nice so like, you might go, you might go and get them. a nice bakery. No, nah, Fredo, Fredo's bang. pies. Yeah, we get we're getting a freeway from Sydney all the way to Tweed Heads, all the way to Gold Coast, really. Yeah. And on the side of them is just these mega super centers. And the one at Taree fucking pumps. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it you got it towns, is ridiculous. Like, you've got bro. towns like Kempsey and shit that used to be a thoroughfare that are like, well, what do we do with our KFC with 50 car parts? <laughs> <laughs> like, Sorry, you've been bypassed, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you've been bypassed. You've been seriously bypassed. Did you ever uh, think about, and you may have done, getting, getting the big fella on, getting Murdoch on? Do, nah, you, do you reach no, out? No, mate, do you we, even haven't, we haven't been promoted on any murder. No. I think it's. I think there's like the. Everyone's aware that we've been making this. But when yeah. you did your live show, right? Yeah. The and you had him. I was like, he was part of it. Was that before le- AI, mind you? Yeah, yeah. but he was. He was. Did he legitimately do that? No, no. We. we okay, because I wasn't no. sure. So we can also yeah. cut that out. For some reason, someone. I, someone was like, no, they actually fucking got him. No, no, no. The way you did that was fantastic. That was yeah. We. Funny. I think we had a look alike. Oh no, we had a video of and you just like Murdoch and we edited. dubbed it. Yeah, we dubbed yeah, it. yeah. That was yeah. before. Yeah. And you it was, made it really no, bad internet connection. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, was, it was perfect timing though. Like we had to like count on our hand in our pocket, like the gaps in the video to say something. Oh like, shit! So for, for anyone listening, yeah. we did a live show in 2018, 2017, where we the Batuta National Road Show, and we. Fuck, was it that long ago? Yeah, it's been a while. Damn. Blowing smoke now, mate. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got on stage and we basically did this thing where we... Sold out the Sydney Opera House. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Not a big deal, dude. It's not, not a big deal. deal. Sold out the Opera House. No, and, uh, right. uh, about 80% of Hamer Hall in Melbourne. Mate, <laughs> the absolute level, like, the, the, the weirdest show of that whole tour was when we went to Adelaide, when we got moved from the, the Adelaide Ooh. Entertainment Centre... Block party was on town. They're like, you're not there anymore. To, oh, really? Yeah, like to to the Gov, which is next door. It's a pub. And like, <laughs> we were like in the middle of like our sp- 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 spoken word like show, and just in the background, you can just hear that block party song, like like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? and I was like, "Fuck!" Well, like this and is the best like, result for everyone because like, we didn't sell enough tickets like, to the entertainment. Like, like, Put them was, all in the guff. Like it was the most inclement weather too. Like it was pissing down the whole night. Oh Jesus! And we just fucked up this Murdoch thing like that. And there was like there was like a hundred sort of people there, and they were just like laughing at the at like the. the, the, the that they were like these guys uh these guys have not been to NIDA. <laughs> <laughs> like, because like it was so loud on this tin roof that we couldn't hear yeah. like, oh like, right. so, like we so kept completely fucked your ability to kind of like, missing these cues oh and we God. And <laughs> like, oh no. yeah because we were trying to have a conversation with a Rupert Murdoch video yeah which it's we were lagging. counting in that's right house. you were you were yeah. speaking to it we're like what yeah. the hell did you say Rupert why are you taking over the world it was that was the kind of joke and mm. then but in the in the gov uh, in Adelaide, we kind of ran out of steam and we fucked it up. So we just started making bodies in the barrels jokes, and they were, <laughs> yeah. and they were laughing. We're like, 
I'm glad we're getting away with this because this is us really, yeah, really scraping the barrel. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, well, I think that's like a nice thing to have in your back pocket though, yeah, in Adelaide, yeah. right? Hey, it's the like serial killer anyway. capital. Yeah, yeah. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This place is fucked up. Yeah, hey, where's Snowtown? <laughs> what was it called? Yeah. Snowtown. Yeah. 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 I was going to call it Barrel Town. That couldn't be Barrel Hill. That could Hello, fancy Lithgow. Fancy Lithgow. Shout out to Lithgow. Lithgow with churches. Not a bad cab scene, Lithgow either. No. no, no, it's a good KFC. We spoke about this no, last two, time. Well, two. Like, well, a like great KFC. alternative if if that Maccas, which is the Maccas to end all mm. the Maccas. That's, yeah, it that's, is. That, 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 that's the, the Lithgow Maccas. Whoever owns, whoever owns Lithgow Maccas. If it's too busy, you can go to the Red Rooster. Yes, you can, which is yeah. there's never anyone in the Red there's Rooster. There's never anyone there. Once the most... Actually, I, 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 I don't know if I should say this, but... Say it, we can cut it out. Like... So I just give the, the fucking vape. It's all right. The so absolute most god awful food poisoning I've ever had in my life was when I was about twenty one. Uh, I got the fish and chips from a like Red Rooster. An, 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 Rooster? an absolute brain explosion. <laughs> I got that is the drive through. You got fish and chips from Red Rooster dude. in Lithgow. <laughs> 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 you must have been on the back of a big Bathurst evening and you're just like oh, completely in your own way. Something healthy. Oh my God. No, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. no, but like I was going <laughs> my the threes. other way and like, you know, when you've just been done, like about three to six hours later, you just feel like extremely kind of. It's all over for me. You know, dude, l- you know. L- l- lethargic, like all of your joints hurt and like yeah. nothing makes sense. It's funny so how your body lets you know like, that you're I went in trouble here. to bed at like four o'clock in the Arvo. I was, I was like, I'm just going to s- sleep this feeling off midnight up, just like, just shirtless in the shower in June <laughs> cold water like like on like just like on all fours just like was that uh, a, was that after a night at the eddy no i think that was uh no that that was just like after a weekend of like very you know, just normal activity. I think. Yeah, yeah, right. From memory, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cold yeah that, that 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 explains how you went into Red Rooster, which is difficult to get to. You got to sort of like go around. No, and do a I was in a rush. You got lost. I was in a rush. You're in a rush, and you like, felt it was Macca's fault, so yeah, you had to go to the Red Rooster. It, it was like like if if you know the Lithgow sort of Mac as well, you've got to go in and go around the whole thing, and then to go into the drive-through. Yes, you do. The line was like going around the entire fucking restaurant. So they must have had on the B team, but I was like I'm All at- they had all the McCalls was about to <laughs> yeah. see. The McCalls might have been back on the McGrain. I am absolute like <laughs> I think the McCalls was back, mate. Yeah, that's that's why the line, that's oh, that's no. the line was oh, out. It's got beetroot. The, the oh, beast. Beetroot. <laughs> no, but like but I, I was also hung hungry enough that the prospect of going like a, like Red like, like, getting fish. like like an extra sixty k's <laughs> that's fucking to go absurd. to Bathurst and have something normal yeah 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 just a, 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 like, a genuine like meal. I can go to Woolworths and get the ingredients for a sandwich that's so <laughs> or fucking it's like good, I can go to Gaz's I'm a certain age a sandwich is perfectly appropriate yeah, for and I was like I'll have some fish chips. <laughs> The Sambo. Yeah, it's a fucking Sambo. I had a, I had a straight up Sambo the other day because the girls have ham and cheese Sambos and I fucking knock them off. But it's just a classic ham and cheese Sambo, Nothing wrong with dude. It. Bit of lettuce. Listen, you obviously, you can, you can throw in lettuce, but you don't need to. No. Like, you can just go yeah. ham, cheese, maybe a mayo, QP mayo, shout out to the Japanese. And yeah. it's fucking phenomenal. But it's obviously like probably clogging my arteries as a 34 year old getting older. I don't know. Like, I don't know. You know, you see, like, you hear about, like, warning, and you're like, oh, he loved eating, like, shit. I'm like, I eat the same way, but I look down on <laughs> my nose at him and be like, oh, that warning was a fucking And pig. warning was in pretty good nick for the best yeah, part of his life. He was a fucking life. athlete. I mean, yeah. I, mean, I mean, some of those shirtless photos of warning coming out of the pool. Yeah. He was in relatively good nick. Better yeah. nick than I've ever way been Way better than nick than you've ever been yeah. in. At least, not ever. Not ever, but like- Certainly in the last very, 15, last 20 decade. years. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I'm not looking down at my nose at you, Tom. I'm just saying that 
Listen, if you if you if I'm if you I'm know. like you know you know lionizing Warney as this scallywag who had fucking beans on toast for breakfast every day, I'm like, well, this well, is well, he was he life. was he was a he was a very big ham and cheese toasty guy, and so am I, dude. He was a very big can of coke guy. I'm not a can, I'm not a can <laughs> yeah. of coke guy. He was a can <laughs> of coke guy. I remember after he took fucking four for five for six for an amazing Adelaide, turned up day five, told the boys to believe. Then takes out there and fucking bowls him out and was sitting up there as they chased a hundred runs, whatever. Yeah. He had he had the ham and cheese toasty grilling and he had a can of coke. The and Bogan's he, barbecue, yeah. the ham and cheese toasty. Yeah. That's a fucking, and they asked him if he wanted to go out there and bat and he goes, I fucking hope not. No, <laughs> like, I'm very comfortable here. <laughs> well, like imagine the satisfaction knowing you've done a job and did, you can just did sit you guys there. Did you get to meet him? Ham and cheese. No. No, no, and for anyone asking, Shane Keith Productions was. Pre posthumously named, however you say yeah, that. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. post mortem. Wasn't post mortem. No, 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 we wouldn't do no. that. There was. Well, it wouldn't be Channel Nine. He liked and five. Jump on there was five. You can, if you'd like to check, so look up. He, uh, go to ABN Checker. Yeah. yeah. Uh, see when it was started. <laughs> see when it was started. He he was a follower of our Instagram page for the first three days of a Boxing Day test, and then three glorious days, and then he liked just, every post. Really? And, yeah. yeah. And, and then, then just left, stopped. Then and then left. He got distracted. I think the yeah. chicks weighed. Can like I, the chicks diluted us from his. <laughs> can I ask what 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 celebrations were there at Batuta HQ when you hit a milli? Us? Yeah. Yeah. Because a milli's no day, joke. It was a milli's it was like us, fuck. No, it was us just uh, oh, really? like refreshing, and then we were like, "Oh, we've done it!" And uh, like, <laughs> like the other guy in the office was like, "Hey." And like, <laughs> yeah, and, then, and, yeah. Then, and then it was like, oh, I reckon like, early doors when you guys were killing it. Like, I remember we would like all the boys would send you like congratulations every time you did like, every 10, hit 10, 000, 000, 20, 000, 20, 000, 20, 000, 20 30, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, We were like, like they've been there since the start. Like, so when we over when we overtook like like a proper newspaper, no, like yeah. there was someone you when we, there was someone you overtook. No, yeah. When we overtook yeah. Fox Sports News, we blew the fucking doors off it, and that was like, and that was in like 2016 where it's like we had 70,000 likes and yes. we were like fuck those guys <laughs> and we were very like, very red hot back then too. yeah but and yeah we went I, MAD it's like what you think less you're less red hot now as in like no in terms I just of think well, I think we're just we've, it's it's an age well, appropriate thing now you yeah, know what yeah, I mean yeah, like, yeah, like, like when you're when you're when you're young bucks you're too. fucking crazy like yeah you'll we, go for it a bit more no, but like like it's a totally arbitrary number like yes. like it, it's all about like looks good it looks, it looks great. It looks, it looks right. good. <laughs> you know it does. You know that M looks good, You know that M looks, looks, good, that that M looks yeah. good. It looks great. But we, the, to be fair, when that happened, when we crossed over to 1 million and we were waiting a long while because actually there was when Instagram started culling bots and we had like, uh, there was like, it, it was goes like, a, like this, like, like, like it's, it's almost like the tides yeah. now, but like now because of our and you get sea like, levels and then are rising, and then heat and then uh, <laughs> yeah. like the, uh, the, um, <laughs> the tide always comes in. Yeah. Yep. Um, yes. Allegedly. Uh, so, <laughs> so basically like, like you might go up to like 999 on a Sunday when Instagram does their audit, goes down to like 997. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. So you goes get, up to oh, 999. We're acting like no, we weren't no. keeping it on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely were. No, of course like, you look, were. Look, we look, we look, just look, hit 50K. No. We were like, fuck, where is this? What's going on? No, yeah, yeah. It took fuck us. Fuck it <laughs> Like, it, 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 took us, it took us eight years to get to 900. And then it took us a year to get from 900 to a million. Yeah. It's just because I think we just reached a critical mass. Like yeah. It's just, Peak Batuta. There is no one else <laughs> out there who is interested. Poor Saturation. People. It's yeah. like that th th yeah. there's no one else out there who is interested. That's yeah. it. It's and then, it. and to be fair, when we, when we did clock the, the mill, we were in the midst of filming this thing. And that actually was the hardest work we've done yeah. with Batuta is just sitting on in, in like not it wasn't necessarily hard work but it was consistent work mm, it would yeah. show up and we'd have three hour days that could turn into eight hour days which is a weird world for slobs for what, like us yeah, who decided to do doing. what we and want and eight hour days like of yeah, actual work you're like what the fuck I know like all of us were complaining to friend of the show Luke Bracey about <laughs> like how like can you believe these 
fucking animals have kept us here for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he was like We're I've waited 10 hours on set for The Rock, bro. <laughs> he was yeah. like, uh, Who had to have a guy hold an umbrella for him. <laughs> How he much? was like, doing Danger Close was as close as you could get to being in war because it's like, his days were so long. It's like, <laughs> fair enough. You, and it was um, one set. So do you, like, you, how much do you have to do with the editorial process? We, are, you, we, are, you we sit, are you sitting there and... Well, it's it's not so much that... Um, eating ham and cheese toasties and pan and cokes. No, nah, we, weren't, we weren't at war with these people, <laughs> like producers. Producers, we work with a really good team. We don't. Yeah. Joking. <laughs> wrecked. Bam, bam, bam. Wrecked, wrecked, wrecked. 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 But we, we, um, we had to uh, <laughs> We all had to work together <laughs> We had to pull together To get the voice right Because Taking Batuta to screen Is the first It's the first time we've done it So um, You know As you've seen with the with the show It's like the different And some ice please Dave With the, the cartoons Thanks, The man. animations And stuff like that And there were some things When you're dealing with animators uh, You know we, You just want to get it A little bit right Like Animators don't probably know the person you're talking about. So they're working off great, images. By the way. Animators yeah. have spent a lot of time inside. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Julian yeah. Assange <laughs> yeah. of the creative world. So we've got to say, oh, like. well, you know, you've got to bring this guy's ears out. Or, you know, like if we want to... We want to make a goal. The way the, you, the, the, the way characterization you, of Murdoch and Packer, and Packer were fantastic. He's eating a lobster in that scene <laughs> yeah. when he just eats it whole. I'm like, his yeah. ears and shit, and like Murdoch's fucking uh, sorry, Packer's nose. Yeah, like, yeah. like he's really. Uh, they did a very good job. So I met. I got to meet Shane Warne once when I was a young fella, and we were in a building. We we're going to a party in a building, and it was just. Uh, it would have been after the Ashes in Brisbane, and. We walk into, and this is just this just explains how much Shane Warne had a grip over every young bloke in the whole entire nation. Mm. We walked into this building, which was some bloke's divorced dad had a fucking apartment, and it was obviously the place to go for a party in a lift. And we walk in, and um, <laughs> we see a few of the boys, see Roy and a few of that era mm. in the lobby. We said, oh, the boys are staying here. And we go up to the party. We don't talk to anyone in the party. We just sit there and saying, someone swore they saw Warney. And we don't know. It wasn't true. We didn't know. It's like but the we, panther and fucking. Yeah, it's like the, it's like the Lithgow Blue Mountains <laughs> panther. We just kept. Did we see him? Did we, we see him? Did we see him? The Bellevue Hill Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's a fox. grainy photo. And then we the Bellevue Hill Fox. <laughs> <laughs> we get back in this lift at the end of the night, having not spoken to anyone except each other about whether or not we saw Warney, and he's in the lift, and he's leaning against the other side of the lift. We get in. He doesn't look at us, and he's texting. And it was just after all that. Texting. And one of these little <laughs> smart asses goes, who are you texting now, Shane? <laughs> and he goes, he looks up like this and he goes, fuck off you little shit. <laughs> and we go, oh, oh. And then we're like scowling at the bloke who'd embarrassed us in our one moment ever in front of the king. And as the doors open, he leans up and grabs a guy with the chin and goes, Go easy on him, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Got into a car and just... Like, he was texting someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad seemed, that was my one moment. That's a great fucking moment. <laughs> yeah. He seems like a dude. He seems like someone who would fucking... The dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, I... They Have do. you seen the ads for the new fucking? I was going to say that. That is look, <laughs> how deplorable is that? <laughs> it's you know, very, very recent. No, like of all the things that we didn't need in this country. Exactly. I mean, submarines. <laughs> we don't need you know, like solar panels. <laughs> we didn't need this. <laughs> no, and need, listen, like, and if we did need it, I needed it to be like a billion dollars almost. Yeah, worth we need of we production need, value. We need the Edgertons. Yeah. No, I, I wanted I wanted Game of Thrones budget. Yeah. Just last season you yeah. know what I mean like yeah, where, yeah, they, yeah. where everything was CGI I yeah. wanted Avatar budget yeah, yeah. I I he want, deserved Avatar yeah, he did not deserve the fucking the, the like underbelly late season no like production it's like Molly remember Molly they did a movie a TV series on exactly. Molly it's like at least Molly. that guy who played Molly looked like him we're it's like, like, we're it's, like, like it's like the it's like the neighbours movie you know what I mean <laughs> no, it's, it's like not this had enough. to be for shame directed by Christopher Nolan yes shot on IMAX that's what he deserved scored dude. by Hans Zimmer yes. Mate, it's, it's so you've absolutely up. nailed it it's, it the best writers it. in the world and they've got like Liz Hurley. Liz should be playing Liz. Like Liz, Liz should, should be playing, playing Liz. Liz. You're absolutely right. right. Like and it's just use AI to bring back Shane. <laughs> exactly. And you know, and then they, they zoom in on the bowling hand. Dude, the bowling hand. And there's it's a like, shot. Well, he's not a finger a shot spinner. Where they zoom in on him fucking like that's him spinning a ball. You're like, this is 
fucking disgusting, dude. <laughs> they started pre-production eight, like six to eight weeks oh, after he died, bullshit. allegedly. I heard three. Was it three? It was it, three. It's so, it's fuck, it's so it's fucking allegedly. grim. It's mm. so it's just, grim, It's dude. such a scat money grab when you consider... I mean, when you he consider, was a fucking Channel 9 guy. Like, what are we I'm, doing? I'm that, but also, like, he was a Channel 9 guy. He'd but be think fucking about burning him, the joint down. Think about what he did for their ratings. Yeah. Over a 15, 20 year period. Well, whether it was him as a cricketer or a fucking... So what, 91 to 2006? <laughs> well, yeah. over a 15 year period. Yeah. First two. <laughs> yeah, well, 93, no, whatever it was. It, it is. Unbelievable. It's, I mean, we'll all, watch, just, we'll all watch it. And well, that's why we're it. It. <laughs> well, listen, yeah, listen I'll watch, watch I'll, it. I'll, I'll I actually won't watch it. I won't. I'll check out the first episode, but the trailer is dastardly. It's <laughs> gross. Like, in the sense of going like, this isn't, this is... It's just like it's really like lame to yeah. be honest. It's kind of like a it's lame. Yeah. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's the worst trailer I've ever seen. Yeah, it's it's, it's and cheap. they've turned him into it's a cartoon. Cheap. It's That's cheap. That's what I don't like. Yeah, they've but they he wasn't the cheap. Everyone loved Warney. Like I remember when he passed and we were watching his his state funeral. Were you at the pub when we were all there yeah, watching we his funeral? Yeah. I was fucking crying my eyes out. Yeah. But like I, you know, obviously obviously I'm Robbie Williams, <laughs> the UN, the <dude. laughs> UN are there. But obviously I'm front and center. But so is Ella, you know we staying living with the Dumbrells at the time. Ella's there. Her sister's there. Yeah. Her other sister's there. Yeah. Her mum's there. Like they don't give a fuck about yeah. sport. But no. everyone's watching yeah. Warney's state yeah, funeral. Yeah. Everyone. Mm. It's like when you think about how in Victoria, like. Chicks care about AFL. Yeah. Like they care about it in Sydney as well. Yeah. Look at the membership numbers. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> but like Warney had every single person in the country like in just engrossed. Like everyone yeah. cared. And yeah, everyone no, was like, mate, everyone called have, each other on the head. You could have migrated to Australia a week ago when and he was you, playing. Yeah, exactly. And you would have known who he was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just to just to, 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 to bastardize his legacy without uh, the was family always, didn't it was always going to happen. I reckon it's, well, no, it'll get like, done properly. But it, should it, should not. Panned, it shouldn't it, it was panned by Simone today in the news. She's like... Yeah. It's like, like, it's like, it's like, it's obviously, also, yeah, but they make, they make access. him out like an absolute sex pest and like she's going, oh, you know, my Shane wouldn't cheat on me like that. This is yeah, all Yeah, they're the kind trailer. of almost taking the pit. It was, it was fucked. We've already said it off is, on it. But let's be honest. He... He reached rarefied air that you would argue was probably only reserved for the Don in yeah. terms of great Australians that are just so revered. Yeah. He he reached demigod status. Yes. He really did. Yes. Like, yeah, you so were like God amongst men. It's like you he got could the, do no wrong. You got no. the conversation with all these things, like, you know, Michael Jackson, whatever. Shane wasn't a sinner, for one, in our, in like by by contemporary standards, Shane was a root rat. But You've got the art versus the artist. Or living the dream. Yeah. Mm. But then it sometimes it, it transcends that. It's art, artist, institution. Yes. That's where he was. There's no, there's no way you Mick could, Jagger yeah. and Elton John, yeah. who never use Instagram, at least Mick Jagger really <laughs> does, penning like two camera like farewells to him. Yeah. yeah. Like what's doing? <laughs> yeah. The yeah. UN again. It's the, the most watched, it was the most watched funeral before the Queen. Yeah, yeah. Like he had a couple of rounds with MJ and they both had like this like thing where they both had 23 yeah. on their golf bag. Yes. And they yeah. were like, who came first? He got he a like, hole in one <laughs> at Augusta. Augusta. Yeah. This yeah. is like, you want to talk, like to your point, he's an institution. Yeah. You don't just rock up to Augusta. It a, was, you can never play it. it was and Augusta. also you never get, no one gets hole in ones. No, like. No one gets hole in ones, no one can play Augusta's it. He rocks up 16th hole in one. Hole number 13, which is infamous now in the annals of golf. Or is it 16? No, it was 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. Well, either way, yes. on the island green where yeah. he's right on the edge. That show's gonna down. suck. Yeah. Uh, Disappointing. But um, sorry. Anyway, uh, back to you. Listen, it gets <laughs> no. us hot out of the car. Yeah, yeah, it gets no, us we, really fucking hot and horny. Fuck, we've done we've done more damage to that show than fucking IMDb. Crew. <laughs> 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 Which is scary because we work in television now. Yeah. So yeah, they'll, yeah. Come yeah. Yeah, they'll come yeah. for us. They'll come for us. You, was, we'll you were saying before, obviously one of the the I think it's the final episode, or at least it's the th no, sorry, it's the third episode. If you're watching on Paramount Plus, uh, because Tom and I are celebrities now, we may have seen the last episode <laughs> yeah, already the premiere. at the premiere. Yeah. premiere yeah, yeah, but you did you did touch on an infamous infamous rather uh, 
largely forgettable yeah. sort of period in Australian history, the Cronulla riots. Yeah. How did how was well, that we, to approach? We wanted to do Cronulla because I guess we're, we're delving into things that have been brushed over. Um, Super League War, brushed over because the two major media families in Australia were directly responsible. Mm. So they prefer that doesn't get told. You know, we couldn't get any Fox or Nine talent to be on that. You know, we had to get the people that we have. And, yes. uh, and we've got people who were there, but we couldn't get anyone. They'll, they'll never give it to you because no. it just there's a narrative that they need to maintain as a business. The same with Fine Cotton, the racist scandal. Um, you know, there's a lot of political corruption involved and Australia loves to brush over that. <laughs> and then... Um, I used to think fine cotton scandal was about cotton. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I didn't – I knew there was a story about a horse and that sort of shit, but when it was the fine cotton scandal, people told it, I was like, I thought it was a cotton-based Yeah, scandal. well, it was, it, was, it was very, very 80s. Honk on that. And then um, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was, you know, it was, it was kind of like the Super League war. Like, you knew it was happening at the time, but you didn't really know it was happening. And then before, you know, in the Hillsong, no one could really talk about Hillsong because – until very recently, it was very much entwined in our federal politics. Um, you know, the Prime Minister Scott, and Scott then that Morrison. and Bieber and like they were they were quite you know well well ingratiated into the political class. So no one was really going to talk about Hillsong. We got them. We put the slipper in them when they were down because you know they've lost a Prime Minister and they've lost a lot of their followers as a result of all the stuff we spoke about earlier. Um, but when it comes to Cronulla rights, that's one of those things where it's on us as as a people. That we'd prefer not to talk about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that, was, that was fucking yeah. etched. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it was wild. But there were so many factors that in our research that we stumbled across that we realised like four or five reasons, four or five factors, if you'd removed one of them, it wouldn't have happened. It, right. and, and so obviously you've got Islamophobia in the early 2000s, post 9-11. Post Bali. Post Bali. Mm -hmm. Lost a lot of young blokes in South Sydney all the way down to Cronulla, you know, in all those footy teams were on tour at the Bali bombings. Yep. You've got 9-11 where overnight, basically, Muslims in Australia, um, before 9-11, Australians didn't know what Islam was and we thought Muslims were basically Hare Krishnas, you know, blokes in eccentric outfits that had a religion. Yep. And then overnight, they become enemy of the state. And then after Bali, they, it's at, it, it attacks us at home. Mm. And then, so you've got that in the news cycle. That's getting drummed up. You've got Alan Jones still on air and he had, like, this was pre-social media, pre-anything, talkback was king. And Alan wasn't helping. Uh, went hard in the paint. Went hard in the paint <laughs> on, on them all. Like, calling them bastards, these Middle Eastern grubs and this and that. And, and, and you know, basically advocating for violence. And then you've got John Howard who was pushing those buttons too because he had an election coming up and, like, he'd just banned guns and he wasn't he wasn't popular with the rednecks. So he was like, i got to find right, okay. find a reason to get through here. Because they hated him for that. They hated him for that. And he kind of, you know, he realised that they had a common enemy in... Uh, <laughs> Although, like he he <laughs> did he he did play that well. I mean, like soon after he banned guns, he fronted a gun uh, lobby rally uh, out 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 the front of Parliament House, and he wore a bulletproof vest under his fucking suit. Did he? Yeah. But that was that was he a goes, political like, play because yeah, no, he, he made goes, immediately when everyone's like John Howard's wearing a gun yeah, to speak like, to the gun owners. These guys are on the fringe of society. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he made them look crazy uh, by wearing like, oh, very I'm good politics. Here. Yeah, right. I'm wearing yeah. a black jacket. Oh, that's actually good for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. That is. That's, that's, why, I that's why I was up. That's why I was rugby league. <laughs> yeah, that was good politics. But he was really he was he really was a rugby union man. But he was eyes up rugby league politics. Yeah, and and also Howard had opened up immigration to Australia too. So he kind of had that. That he had to prove that he was, you know, one of them for, you know, the rednecks. So he was poking buttons. So he had all this like media and um, and political kind of demonization of Muslim people. And then you've got the fact that so that's one factor. Another factor is the transport. Cronulla is the only place with a train line. So you know, people from different backgrounds would end up on that beach. They wouldn't be able to make their way to Manly. They wouldn't be able to make their way to Bondi because it's well, I think the Northern Beaches is like when. You know, no train lines out here. It's like you're not bready, don't spread it. Yeah, that's and the, that's and then, yeah. and the locals, the locals advocate. They nearly had a train line that went to Bondo Beach, but the locals brushed it. Um, well, there essentially is one now at Bondo Junction. Yeah, but that, they, yeah, they, but they, but, the, but the 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 bus downs a different kettle of fish. Mm. You can literally get the train at Cronulla. No, yeah. no, I no, look, yeah. I get it. I mean, but it's but they nearly had one down. To, they yeah. nearly had one to the pavilion. Oh, which, fuck. Yeah. which would have been a different kettle of fish. <laughs> oh, that would yeah. be completely and look, different. See, to what the happened? pavilion? Yeah, yeah. Not <laughs> in my Bondi. Hey, yeah, here we are, here we are. I'm going to lay on those shacks. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Not then, my Bondi. And then you had the fact that in 2004, 
you know, like uh, young Eddie Simpson would have to wait until 8 o'clock until he could text the girls on Sterling Street in South Dubbo. <laughs> where, you know, in 2005... Text messages went unlimited. Yeah. So that was the so first time the plans changed. So, so that's how we got the, the this this widespread... Yeah, because of, I'm because I'm the, not I'm not sending a twenty five cent text when no. I have fifty cents yeah. left in the and note. No, like I got the Cronulla right text. Yeah, yeah and like, like get down to Cronulla. Yeah, yeah. I'm like sent to you by a guy who didn't spend a cent on it. No, and someone who like I was they were like, free. I don't really need to do it. Yeah, right. But the whole thing was free. So like it was our first taste of viral because a year oh, earlier you fuck. wouldn't have sent that message because you wanted to save it for the chicky babies. But yes. A year later, literally, it's unlimited. But literally, though, no, yeah. literally, you wanted to have phone sex. Text sex. Te- yeah. Yeah. Well, sexting. Even, sexting. Yeah. No, sexting. 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 Just, just wanted to see if your mate was around. Here. Well, yeah. 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 sure. Or just uh, talk about school that day yeah, with yeah. your mate. You know. Well, but, that was what MSN was for. Uh, yeah. Dumb bum two thousand. So they couldn't. They, so that was a factor. And then the other fact that we found was, which was a surprising one. This is one we didn't even think about. Was it was like the height of lolly water. So. The, is that Alco Pops? Yeah, Alco, Alco Pops. Like the tax came Oh, in. pre-tax. Yeah, yeah, the tax was 2007, and that was 70%. That doubled the price of it. So when <laughs> I love it, that Lolly Water has a part to play in yeah, well, fucking 2004. Yeah. Well, mate, you think about how crazy people went on. Oh, I know. Mate, think about the punch-ons. Kids don't see that shit at house parties anymore. The fucking blues. Because mm. everyone's up to their nose and Guava Cruz are caffeinated. Yeah. <laughs> That's and, right. And yeah, they drink mate. them like fucking... Like, they don't... They don't go down as harsh as beer. So, no, yeah. 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 And, and you can pound those things in. You drink earth. 12 beers at a house party as a teenager, you're probably going to sleep. Yep. Drink yeah. 12 cruises, yeah, yeah. it's on for young and old. Yeah. It's a and great that, point. Yeah. It's a great point. <laughs> I love that Alco Pop had something to do with it. Yeah. And then the introduction of the Alco Pop tax ended racism in this country. <laughs> 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 that was Kevin, wasn't it? Is that no, Kevin 07? No, I think that was Malcolm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, was that Malcolm? Yeah. Uh. yeah. So you, you say, you're saying Malcolm ended racism? Malcolm yeah. ended racism. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's, he, he'd admit as much. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, a rich yeah. white guy yeah, in yeah. Point Piper. Yeah, he also ended <laughs> homophobia with the gay marriage. And, but, you know, we, we, you know, we yeah. interviewed Malcolm. That was one of our yeah. first interviews. That was, is he part? Is he that for was, the. Oh, when oh, you, no. you, you interviewed sitting Prime Minister, didn't you? Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. fucking hectic. That was Malcolm's contri- contribution on, like, a Medicare level. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like <laughs> you know, Hawkey had. The, the Medicare play and 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 old Malcolm was John was, Howard was like, was like yeah. I'm going Malcolm to Malcolm did an alcohol pop tax. Yeah, <laughs> stop young men <laughs> presenting at emergency <laughs> d- departments with a split eyebrow. Yeah. yeah. Did you find it difficult during the during these Cronulla interviews to find a humorous well st- a humorous mm, strand because well, obviously like the at least at least the ones we've watched uh, yeah. there, there there is a funny element oh yeah to no it, right? it's it's funny because this, this is the thing about these stories is they reveal character mm. you know what i mean even if they are like dark chapters in our history it reveals a little bit about us and and you can you can giggle at that no matter what your background is i like to think because the like it the funny thing is cronulla as the media reported it was one day it wasn't one day what happened was there was a guy called Nick Cowdes who was the head of Middle Eastern crime for the New South Wales Police. Or, or he was in that space. I'm not sure what his actual job title was at the time. And now that we're historians, I should clarify, I don't know what his actual job title was. <laughs> but he, um, <laughs> he was in the New South Wales Police and he was an Egyptian man and he had a little bit of an understanding about Arab culture. And he knew that after the Cronulla riots, which was one day of what we remember, that was going to be broadcast on TVs all across the country. And it was not pretty. It was the type of thing that would fire young blokes up who were maybe feeling victimised by that. So they loaded up their cars. A convoy came out from Punchbowl ready to fucking burn down Cronulla. Mm. Um, totally understandable. The most understandable emotional reaction in this whole thing was probably that. But this bloke knew that was going to happen and he managed to convince them to shut off the bridge to Cronulla. Really? Yeah, yeah. No, and see, so they shut there's... off the bridge to Cronulla and then they have to swing it round to Brighton La Sands where they get out of the cars and they're ready to fucking bash white boys. And all they can see is Greeks and Italians in, uh, in Brighton <laughs> yeah. La Sands. They're like, right. fuck, we don't know what's we're, going on. We're a bit stuck We're in here. the wrong spot. So then they keep travelling around to Maroubra where 
you know, it's a different kettle of fish there. You've got some blue. Well, that's who not can the place you want to wander into. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to try and raise hell, it's yeah, like, I know. shit. We've you want to get to Cronulla. We've that's actually, where you want yeah, to get We really to. want to go to Cronulla. Now we found ourselves with yeah, a place. And now in Maroubra, and, and these boys, boys can brawl, yeah. and they're big wave surfers. They like to punch on. They ride buses. They're UFC fighters. It's intense. So one yarn we tell in that, which I won't, I won't expand on too much. But basically, as they all arrive, WRX's skylines. Where I'll leave it is. It was the Bra Boys Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Christmas party on the beach. <laughs> That's right. Oh and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> That's right. Oh my God. <laughs> They had a big Portuguese spit on the beach. Yeah. And that's where I leave. <laughs> I know, yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. That was that's another, when I knew we fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> there was another small yarn in that that we couldn't put to wear that was essentially along the lines of when they arrived there, uh, that they were looking for people on the street to, um, you know, to up. And they hopped out and they come across this uh, young Irishman who is walking home and they were like, you. And he was like, what do you want? <laughs> and they were like, oh, we're not looking for you. And they go across to this guy up like immediately up the road and they go to him and this guy just goes, oh, I'm Irish too. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, oh, like, all right. And they hop back in the car and they leave and he was like. They're looking for a specific yeah. type. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what well, are you You, you can't just be white. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He's <laughs> got to be the guy we're after. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like, I've moved to Maroubra because Clovelly is unaffordable. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I've been to Cronulla three times in my life. Leave me alone. Like, <laughs> Fuck, that was such a hectic time, those Cronulla rides. It was a hectic time, but you know, that, that, those were the factors that contributed to it. And the fact that everyone was off work. I mean, this happened in July. Wouldn't have happened. It was the hottest was it, summer yeah. we'd had in a while. Everyone was off work. Uh, and everyone right, was, was connecting related, was, it, was, it, was it? How close to Australia Day was it? It, it was, was December. It was mid-December. It was in December, yeah. right? It was mid-December. I, thought it was in, I thought it was in like middle of January. Listen, it looked kind of like an Australia Day, given all of the flags. And, and, then, and, and, that was, and that, I think and that's when Australia Day became stigmatised. From that moment, because mm. that's when the, the Australian flag cape became a thing. Became it became like it didn't look. Yeah, yeah and that, well, that it, was it became. Yeah, it sort yeah, of. And the Southern Cross tattoo became a sign of like you're a bit of a fucking. Yeah, and five years earlier, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie meant Olympics. After that, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie kind of felt a bit exclusive. You know, to um, and look, I think Aussie Aussie has managed Australian to speed. survive. I think yeah. Aussie 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 has managed no, it, to it's, it's a, it's separate itself. Survived. I think yeah. it survived, and yeah. I but, think it but should. certainly the speed dealers with the with the the Australia Day or the Australian Velcro flag around cap, the neck. yeah, cape rather, yeah, has been maligned. No, it's been no, but maligned, like yeah. tied around, but like you can still see like the square creases in it from when it was packed into this like plastic <laughs> sleeve in western yeah. china yeah. and then yeah. shipped here yeah, yeah, and yeah. then yeah. torn out of its plastic at, it hasn't been like, out of the pack for long a souvenir there might still be a tag on it. Yeah. Yeah. you know what i mean um how does that feel how did it feel do you ever reflect on sort of this series you've done with paramount which again is fucking terrific if you want to you want to check out some of the greatest yarns it's very never good. told or poorly told but now phenomenally told paramount plus Petuda advocate presents Pat. like do you think back to those stupid dumb articles that got picked up by sunrise yeah. of like you know the 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 parking inspector yeah, yeah, that yeah. finds himself you know what i mean yeah. like no well, look there was one in the pandemic like right of the early days when tom hanks got pinged here on the gold coast and it was just like, oh, he's in there with Wilson, like that, like like the staff went and got him like like a volleyball and did like the hand handprint on there, and they and they gave it to him. Like people in fucking Kansas, like emailing us, like it's like, is, I can have you got verify sources for this? Oh, <laughs> oh, like, it, was like, it went fucking ape shit. Do you like, still get went. people that don't get it, or if, is it for the most part? For the most the, part, the last the last era of that would have been the pandemic when information was so crucial yeah <laughs> <laughs> well actually no like it's interesting how they like like we got these like like sort of messages from uh the uh social media giants like look in this age of of you know information being crucial like you know like you you guys can't be writing about you know the coronavirus you can't be writing about 
vaccines. You can't be writing about these things Etched like that. It. Which forced us Etched. to come up with different ways of describing it because it was all done with like algorithms mm. and stuff. So, you know. So how would you describe it? Coronavirus so we- becomes the spicy cough. The AstraZeneca becomes AstraZucchini. Yeah. Uh, okay. The Pfizer becomes the Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. So we had to we had to spin it up because if we'd just done a yarn about Pfizer coronavirus, la la la, it wouldn't have gone anywhere. Yeah, no, yeah, blockers yeah, on yeah, yeah. yeah, which is fucked. How 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 much have you spent? Because there was a there was like a golden age of like Facebook yeah. and where your articles two thousand fifteen like, where 16. you were getting pre, but some also of the, pre when they this is pre when they did the we're not presenting. News yeah, articles they anymore? The timeline, you know? Yeah, no, like but in, you used in to the get age so much that. heat on some of those articles, like hundred thousand likes, mm. and fuck, like the engagement was. It happened again the other day. It ha- I tell you what, it happened again the other day. We don't really pay much attention to Facebook, although it is, you know, for a lot of people who want to go to the website and stuff, Facebook's great like that. But um, you know, obviously, Instagram's what you're snackable, and yeah. you guys would know that too. Quick yarn, Instagram, TikTok. But um, we still put the long form up on Facebook. We don't really measure it as much as we used to. And back in the day, it was hot. It was hot to touch. We could put anything up there. And it was the hottest yeah. piece of ass in town. Yeah. But again, like as like friends, we'd be like, holy fuck, boys, <laughs> look at this fucking yeah. thing pumping. Yeah, and, and I guess that happened for us when we decided to go ramp up the output. Just go on the hour, every hour, every day. Just got to put it out yeah. there. And that, that, that was a big one for us was the consistency. But... That the kind discipline of, to, yeah, to yeah, do that. Yeah, the though. discipline. And that, did when that we become started, like When we hectic? first went online, you should have seen... We were writing 3,000 like, word it's articles. Like, like, it's, like, it's, it's like, here is my think piece on this <laughs> like, <laughs> submarine deal. And it's like, and it's like, oh, it's like Captain John. It's like the most scrolling high through concept like shit. Like, like, yeah. like how many articles on anything that's not sport r- related have you been like, I'm going to sit down and p- properly scroll sc- Scroll this thing out. This entire thing. They are few and far between. But, but, like, but one at, of the biggest at your, things at your, at your peak, right? Mm. You, we're talking peak Facebook, yeah. peak distribution, yeah. peak think piece, mm. <laughs> <laughs> peak, <Pod> piece. <laughs> peak personal grandeur. Yeah. Like, how many words were you writing a day? Do at the think? at the oh thousands. Yeah, yeah. We thousands. You know, so there would have been five years with Chicker and I. Wrote 5,000 words a day. Crazy. That is <laughs> fucking insane. And could I ask on and that, like, right? they, like, this is punters and dribblers. We, we, the, this is, you know, this we're not is getting pre-chat chat we're not, GPT. We're not, you know we're not spell mean? checking Mate, any no, of this. Like, <laughs> this is like, like, <laughs> like, like, like go up unchecked. <laughs> no, but like, we do this all day and then at night just go to work. <laughs> and then, and you, then, go, you go to the park. Yeah. Or uh, and then, uh, and then yeah. you just <laughs> work there. Queensland equivalent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we do all and, then, <laughs> and then you just work there until five in the morning and then you fucking go and have a rest and then you write all day and then you go to work all day. As it yeah. pertains to stories, when you're sitting down, like, it, again, those times, I know it's sort of different now, but... Are you rolling in with like a bunch of ideas in your mind and you go bang, fire one, bang, fire? No, or are you sitting sometimes, there going, fire. No, well, like, well, like, I. You might come in with one. I yeah. try to go in <laughs> with like a skeleton of things that I think which are evergreen. Yeah. And then try and do one on the news. Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. One that's day, like current to the day yeah. and then yeah. the rest that's fucking. But, but the best ones are always the ones that are reactionary to yeah. the news. What do you, what do you have personal, like individual the big, favorites? The biggest done? hit we ever had was a weird one because it happened recently, well after the glory days. And it was our um, video montage, Farewell to Roy. We just put that up. Oh, really? And it was yeah. actually Roy's best runouts, right? Yeah, it went right through the subcontinent. <laughs> we like, didn't, we didn't really. Like, we come back for like, like tens of millions of views, <laughs> like, 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 fifty thousand likes. Like How many? Three hundred fifty thousand. Three hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, I know, but there was one. So, so <laughs> one of our riders, Effie, uh, a bit, bit younger than us, she was like, "Oh, I'm interested in like." possibly doing some TikToks for you. And I'm like, go for your life. I, I've, I, I've aged out of TikTok. And it's anyway, the worst and platform on earth wait, trying to fucking- She came up with I this thing. It. It's, it's, it's like this fucking dude who like takes the top off a brand new jar of mustard and goes, 
And then she's put in this caption, when you fart in the shower and get to experience your fart in HD. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, cool. <laughs> that thing, it's got 4 million views. It's <laughs> like, I, I, again, 400,000 yeah. likes on TikTok. Shit. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, Fuck this platform! <laughs> like, 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 here we were writing five thousand words. A day. Yeah, it's like, it's like <laughs> she's just pulling a fucking. It's like, jar of it's like that was like that was the the dragon that we chased for six years, yeah. and you've come in and done this, and like it's gone around the world, like people laughing over, like people have got no idea what the this hell is the funniest shit Batuta ever. is. But like, but like, that's not the like. She's got one that's got a. Mil There's just these like weird kind of genre based yeah. ones. Yeah. Well, that's what that's what the, I guess always was the plan with Batuta was. Eventually, we'll all uh, we, we adapt as much as we can, and then we'd like to hand over to some young guns because we're not in the pubs like we used to be. You know, no. we're not in the mix with all the fuck. We're not sitting on the hill anymore. Well, that no. was that we was haven't filled the socks up for a while. Mate. That was certainly <laughs> always like your benefit, right? Yeah. Is that you always seemed to. And not that you don't now, right? Mm. But like, you always nail it on the head, right? Mm. To the point where mates of mine have always been like, you know those boys, and <laughs> you've been feeding them yarns. Yeah, so that's guys, the thing yeah. One, one of my mates one. in particular, I swear <laughs> to God, I never, I, I swear to God, I never fucking spun you boys a yarn. You'd know I never have. Yeah. And every, he you're, every you're time legend. he would do something right, like there was a bit like batutery. Yeah. He would, there would be an article would come out and I was just like, right. how is this Yeah, fucking? but there were also definitely times when we had a collective understanding of what this, where the, the, the inspiration for a yeah, certain yeah. article. No, but, like, no, but, oh, but, no, but both, right? Yeah, but yeah. both. There is, there's sometimes there's inspiration and sometimes you just seem to be like tapped into yeah. something. Oh, absolutely. Oh, well, like, absolutely. There have absolutely. been times where I've, seen what the hitman has written and i've been like 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 this is exact this has happened to me and i'm like i would have like i'm like how did you fucking why why did you think this was appropriate <laughs> to write this <laughs> it's like yeah. what, 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 what but I, I, so I, got in, I got in big shit for years because yeah, yeah. you boys were so dialed in and there was like it was a one relatives, thing, it was like, it's just it, it just goes to show that none of us are individuals there is a collective that we work with we're just a Product of some hive mind. Yeah, yeah. We're just trying to so that cast Dave a wide knows about, net. doesn't he? Yeah, Dave knows. No, Dave. Yeah, knows he that. knows. Dave knows the hive. I mean, does, does a lot of our stuff? Uh, do you relate to a lot of our stuff, Dave? Yeah, definitely. And I feel like some of the stuff, and especially that I know you guys, sometimes I feel like it's personally targeted. <laughs> what, like local lefty? <laughs> oh, yeah. Local blue hair. Yeah, blue yeah, hair. Yeah, lefty yeah. Yeah. has a problem with something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that was. <laughs> <laughs> local lefty, local lefty, lefty, lefty upset with the world. <laughs> local just lefty can't just be happy. Can't, can't <laughs> enjoy things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was one a few weeks ago that Effie wrote about like fantasy football, and I swear it came off the back of a conversation I had with Wendell in front of her. Oh, and right. sure. Was, yeah, yeah, and that and that was like. Well, see, I would put a lot yeah. of it down to subconscious too. You know what I mean? There's, there's been actual. Yeah. There's been there's been moments where, you know, you you just like. Oh, fuck, no, I do know that. Yeah, I do know that. Whereas, you know, but that's just like your inspiration, where, where you pick things up. But also, at the end of the day, a lot of the yarns are the news cycle too. So yeah. um, that has been the majority. Are there the ones concept. though where you'll get like a creative bolt of like where you kind of go like, I need to stop what I'm doing now and yeah. go and write the yeah. fucking thing or like, or at least put down as much of it as I can? Yeah, well, you, you got to write it down Yeah, because you can't, um, and you guys would well know with segments or with concepts. You we probably wouldn't. But no, but like <laughs> you, do, you do forget down. it. You'd you be do yeah. forget oh, it. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, we can. so I will insert myself here. Yeah. We can, the Hello Sport the is name, the second best name it's, for a sports it's, podcast. Well, I mean, it may be the third or the fourth yeah. time. I yeah. can't be sure. It's but we know not we've one. got a better name. We came up with the greatest fucking name for this show of all time and we were we, to the point where I remember hugging and kissing yeah we hugged we, we hugged. were so pumped about it, it. Yeah. and then he called me the next day and as soon as I saw the phone ring I knew I go he's forgotten that's why he's calling me on a Sunday God's day the day you don't call me on <laughs> the and, Sabbath and the <laughs> Sabbath and I'd also forgotten because we'd ripped and teared and it, everything leaves my mind these and days it's gone yeah you gotta write it's it gone. down so you gotta write it down you gotta Sabbath. write it down Hell, fuck Hello, sport is is dog shit. <laughs> well, it's annoying. Well, it's annoying because like I, I've I've become quite fond of it, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 
every time I hear it or people ask me about the name, I'm reminded of the fact that yeah. it's second. There's a better one out there. That's what yeah. Joyride says. Joyride said the same thing. We go, well, what about the name Joyride? It was our first podcast interview ever. Was also Joyride. a stand-up gentleman. One of the stand greats. Yeah, we had a great time here when we made Media Watch. <laughs> yeah, I know. The live dude. stream of yeah. Cowboy I felt Sharks. so bad, <laughs> Tom was so guilty about I that. I felt so bad. I was like, I thought the fucking thing was public news. I've heard him say it on his podcast. And now he's on Media Watch. He's on Media Watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daily Mail. But, but now you know that there is a person at the, the Daily Mail who trolls this. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I didn't even realise. Again, TikTok, worst place on earth. Like, weeks after that whole thing happened, I found a DM, and it was like some fucking Daily Mail general on TikTok going, hey, can we take this video? We didn't say yes, cunt. You yeah. still did it, but like... They don't give a fuck. No, they don't. No. But um, he, we interviewed him. We said, what about the name Joyride? Where does it come from? He goes, it was a name I came up with when we were making up names, when we were all musicians and we were all mates. And he goes... Is it the name I'd choose today if I was starting again? No. He goes, <laughs> he goes but I know the Hilltop Hoods would say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just had a quick piss break, Siggy break, deep, deep uh, cultural uh, and analytical sort of... Uh, Renaissance. Well, listen, just deep topics, deep, man. Yeah, yeah. Look, deep things that aren't for, aren't for <laughs> now. Look, well, we had the, we had the... We'll turn the down. cameras off later and stay in these chairs. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, there was a period there where Facebook, was it Google v Facebook, Facebook v Google v the government? And uh, firstly, there was a period where you guys got completely taken off. Yeah. And it was like, uh, we, you didn't know, we didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, no. Were and you taken off? Yes. Yes, yeah. we were. And that was yes, almost, we for us, we were almost like badge of honour as opposed to you where you're like, business yeah, could business. be over. Mm. We saw it more as like, an acknowledgement. Little, little old hello sport, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Let's Falling drive, victim to, let's to big them media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, Fox, so you want whereas, to whereas I think genuinely my greater concern was my dear friends at Batuta having yeah. potentially their fucking business yeah. ripped from under them. That was an interesting time. It was, um, it was a death rattle, I guess, for the last government who ended up getting voted out. But they had the pressure put on them by what we now know as the – legacy media of mm. which none of us in this room belong to um yeah shout out to kaya yeah <laughs> <laughs> i like you know, the, the, whole, the, the the super league war media every right? game live and ad free <laughs> 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 but um yeah and also uh, shout out to our friends too. but like th there was pressure put on it was like everything australia is often used as a case study on on technology and, and social well, the media. same with the same with ripping out likes on instagram yeah you know what i mean sure. it like, always gets trolled that up. was such a dumb fucking get rid yeah. of likes like yeah. what are we doing well the, the no but you know why they did that you know why they did it tinfoil had just there because people mm -hmm. were more on. likely <laughs> to click on advertising on. okay quick quick tinfoil so hat. it wasn't for the mental people, health of teenagers it, wasn't, it had nothing <laughs> to it had nothing to <laughs> do sorry, with sorry, um, sorry, cut that with out, young impressionable teens start it again say it again had nothing to do with young, impressionable teens made to feel vulnerable and um, uh, exposed via Kate Moss the, effect. Yeah, by the 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 insidious nature of hot likes chicks on the versus hot yeah. chicks. It had more to do with the fact that revenue and likes were work in tandem, right? So the more likes a post has, the more it's clicked on. So if we move, remove likes entirely, a post that didn't get clicked on because it had no likes because it was advertising, now stacks enters up. Enters the mainstream. Uh, yeah. It enters the mainstream. Uh, and therefore, it's someone who's paying in for the all- the Parthenon of, of, of good content. Yes. Exactly. Where it could be scat Shit content. content yeah. paid for could now enter the pantheon of greats. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. And, and, that, when, and, when, and when that happened, Mr. Mr. Zuckerberg made a lot more money than he used to. But it didn't last that long. Likes no, came back well, almost see, There were a lot of people who were inboxing us and being like, now that they've taken away likes, I can't tell what which one of your articles is worth reading. <laughs> so it there had was actually like had a all these people effect, who yeah. were forced to read articles and bail out half halfway through. But yeah, that right. see that was an that was an in house trial, right? And they trial everything on Australia because we're a pretty good tester. We're a market that doesn't matter too much. There's 20 million people, arguably the same amount of people here as there are in Papua New Guinea. But no, no, no. See, like we know, like we've heard from the horse's mouth from people at Facebook and Instagram who have said that 
essentially trialing something on Australia is like trialing something on like a town like Dallas, Fort Worth. Yeah. So I was like, going to say mice. No, well, no, well, like, well yeah. Well, yeah, like, it's like no, monkey no, well, child. Like, yeah. No, well, like, <laughs> like, Give them a bit of like, cocaine, they come back. The entire <laughs> population mice. of Australia will like, well, you know, like the, the three most populous states, we stack up as essentially like a large case town study. in America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're a case study. So, that's so that's we fun. are scalable out on like a US kind of like, a, like that level where yeah. if you mm. change one thing, they see how it works here and then they can roll it out or they Great. will not roll it out. Yeah, we are. So that nice. was the first day's case study. And um, I guess the pressure was coming from the media giants on Australia because our government at the time would do bidding for people like that. It was like, all right, we want you to go to war with the social media tech giants, the same people that we've been able to establish our followings on, they said, we want you to go to war with them uh, and basically make them pay up because in their mind, in the old school media's mind, the publishers, um, they think when they put an article on Facebook mm. and people read it, they should get paid for that. Mm. We don't look at it that way. Well, it's like We're Facebook's content. sending you to your fucking... Yeah. No, no, it's actually, it's actually... It should actually... I see it as the inverse, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that people use your platform yeah. because of the publisher. And that was... I had never thought about it that way until they ripped publishers off the yeah. platform. And when I and went I on there... what was no, going no, on. When I, no, but when I went on there, I go... What the fuck am I on here for? Yeah. But also, like there was there zero was, reason for me to be. When they took all the news off Facebook, there was some bushfire in Argentina or yeah. something that had like not been seen in a billion years, and I had no fucking idea what was going on yeah. in the world. I didn't realize until news was removed from Facebook that, that was just at the time where I got my news from. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know. Well, like I I don't know how big the Birmingham tribe is, but I don't. No, if you not knowing about a bushfire ever in Argentina was ever going to change <laughs> your your day that day, it's like it uh, doesn't like, matter whether it was it changes or not. Day. It cha in the sense that just where you go, like this was. Listen, a bushfire in Argentina wouldn't change my day the same way. As much as we hope the brave souls are okay, but like there's a submarine missing in the fucking Titanic, yeah. right? Yeah. Like it's yeah. not going to change my day, but I want to know about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and also, sure. also, also, we had the also, bushfires. also, Gary the goat takes four wickets. Yeah, like, that could be a fucking. How am I going to find and out? We had, we had Australian bushfires that day, and, and aside from us, a lot of emergency outlets were brought yeah. down too. But it was yes. basically the government, which was our, fucking ant. Our know, government no, could not negotiate with the tech giants on behalf of the people that were telling them to, which was the legacy media, telling them to, you've got to tell them to pay up and once we can set a precedent in Australia, we can take it to the world. Mm. And that's what, we were the guinea pig. Our government at that time was the But wasn't pig. that while during the bushfires, which mm. were fucking hectic that yeah. time, yeah. not even like the rural bushfire brigade. Was it the, no, during no, Australian all, no, no. bushfires? All, I'm referencing all, Argentina All of them got taken off. No, no. Maybe that's the bushfires I'm thinking no, that was I'm the, Argentina. All of them got taken <laughs> off. <laughs> I mean, like, like, like the all these people, like the Queensland brigade SCS, couldn't they all got taken right. off. But even more than that, it was things like... Um, you know, um, <laughs> other emergency services like you know, you need to fuck dialysis. Well, the, no, there's like the, there was like the women's domestic violence, like all that shit yeah. was protection. removed. Yeah. All that got taken off. There was a period where we were taken off, and that was for about eight hours. And and be, because of our profile on that, we did some lobbying that day. On yeah. that, we platform, went to Channel Nine and spoke to them about. We it. were like, <laughs> you, you know, this is disgraceful. You know, us, <laughs> Channel Nine, the ABC have been taken off here. You know, this is terrible and then because we knew people we got put back on and then you with all the emergency services you should have us. seen you know like <laughs> like all these people from like abc margaret river to fucking sbs to like local fire services were inboxing us being like who did you fucking speak to and we were like oh, here's our email like then but like but in that period where we were the only people on Facebook with access, 
it, it it just seemed like the most absurd thing in the world because you, you know of of all the people who d- deserve to be on there in like in in the middle of a bushfire crisis, they put us on and we're like you know like yeah, like your services like, 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 like no but like like we posted a few things like we do our civil duty here yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like all, in like, the all of us are talking and we're, we're, we're just like we like like all of this stuff has to go out the window for a second like we have. To be like, all right, if you're in the Riverina, if you're in the Blue Mountains, <laughs> you're in this. Here are your emergency numbers. Here is this. Here is that. But you, you know? had to, right? Had to. Well, like, well, we're the only people left. Yeah. 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 Wow. It was that. But also, like, as a as an Australian, right? <laughs> there's an obligation there to yeah. at least provide Some, that level. Yeah, of it felt absurd. Well, like, that whole thing felt so absurd about our tenuous grip on just like information just being taken away yeah. and shut off, like the tap and, being it, turned it off. It said so much. And I then think, the tutor advocates giving me the numbers I need to know to stay <laughs> safe in a fucking bushfire. But that, that also said a lot about like, it was Josh Frydenberg had failed to negotiate with the tech giants and then he- RIP, and RIP, politically. But he, he for tried now. to- For now, tried well, he's to, come back. He tried to bluff them and they called the bluff and we got shut Josh. off. Josh. I've never wanted <laughs> to Josh. shave a man's head Josh. more, by the way. Like, bruh, yeah. global tech, right? <laughs> a lot more powerful than you, bruh. Yeah. Australia, yeah. let's yeah, 20, let's 20 something yeah. million people, cut them. Brush them. Yeah, Fuck it. it's just like it's, 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 twenty million people. Who no, gives a shit? Like no one's calling yeah, your. That's like, like not even one LA. Everyone's no, calling yeah, your like, bluff. It's like, it's like, oh no, we've lost a market the size of Oregon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, or Northern California. Yeah. It's a suburb. really tippy top yeah. of suburb yeah. in India. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, bang. And, then they, and so then eventually, the negotiation went in, like as we saw with the Super League Docker, they had to negotiate it. And what they negotiated was, oh, the tech giants will set up a fund that will pay journalists in this country. To this day, you ask one journalist you ever meet, any of them got a fucking taste of that. It went None straight it. to the fucking bosses. It went stra- None of them got a taste of it. It went straight to the same companies that were fighting the fight. I know, but like, um, like you've got these things like, like these tech giants <laughs> are having to pay the fucking Glebe Morning Herald, you know, like fucking millions of dollars but a it year. But it wasn't and bumping like, salaries. We never got a taste of it. No? We're still coming for that. What is it? The media bargaining agreement. How did you guys go about, like, when you started getting big and getting access to, like, the social media, like, head honchos? Obviously, we don't have too much of an issue with that sort of shit, but... Too you small. Know, well, too small. Well, or too big. But, there are, like, you know, there are things where you're like, Can't you really us. want to get an answer from them. But, like, Instagram, for example, good we luck. Don't no, no, well like, no, like, like, you don't know, like, like until the tide comes out, you don't know who is swimming nude in this country. Yes. <laughs> like, like, I reckon ins- Instagram staff in Australia would be one hand. Mm. Like, mm, maybe, like, five or yeah, six. It's it, like, you get fucking, and you don't even know what, sometimes you don't even know what's going on. Be like, yeah. you've been well, let's go, you mate. You're blocked. You're yeah. blocked. You're blocked. You're shaped. You're oh, removed. You can't do that. We've been shaped. Listen, we've been I, shaped into an inch of our lives. Tom and I have been shaped within an inch of our lives. Have sometimes, you been shadow blocked? Yeah, yeah we've that's been shadow blocked. Shadow, sometimes shaped is when you're well, well, you download too much stuff. But well, shadow band. That was shadow band. Yeah. 2018, 19 into the pandemic, we were we were invisible. <laughs> it depends. It depends yeah. to like. It depends on how much our engagement, how engagement goes. Yeah. If we have uh, an article that that's poorly engaged, then maybe it's because we're shadow banned. Yeah, I love it. Well, you know that's I mean? also the way. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, like we always to... say that shit. Oh, that one flopped. Shadow banned. Although, <laughs> although, 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 yeah. although there was oh, that one video article, we thought yeah, was hilarious no. and spent ages crafting is <laughs> yeah. not good. Ah, yeah. oh, fuck hey. the fucking tech giants shadow banning us. There was one article that we did in like our like proper purple patch days, <laughs> where like it was about like. Berlusconi or something like something really <laughs> niche about Italian sort of politics and we had this one article on either side like both had like like 17,000 likes and one in the middle that 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 had nine yeah and, and you just there like were nine people who who understood nine. that nine Nine people, and you could put that down to social media. You could put that down to to incredible, us maybe misreading the <laughs> national sentiment. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's are like, there any? Are there any of those where like ones where you go like, "Fuck, we were off the pulse on that one," or not really? I mean, every day. In yeah, but I mean, maybe like in, in a hindsight, big way, in a, no. Like in a, but at the time, it's it's like, man, that was. Niche. That was that was niche. That was, what about is there, an art, is there an article you've done where you're like, this is cherry ripe? 
and it's just flying. Oh, I, I always remember one. It was uh, when Malcolm Turnbull banned four five seven visas. And it was at the height of like which was what that's that what's the four five seven? That was the that we banned the Europeans skilled from coming, visas. Yeah, skilled yeah, visas. yeah, yeah. And and four five seven visas. Whatever how it was, I read it as he bans four hundred and fifty seven visas. <laughs> and we ran a story saying Pauline says we need a ban. Pauline Hanson says we need a ban. Way more than four hundred fifty seven visas. <laughs> At the moment we wrote that, I was like, "This one is this kind is of fly." A ten k. <laughs> <laughs> this one's out the door. This one's mail at home. <laughs> fucking shut the laptop. Yeah. at fucking yeah, 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 we got a couple like that. And every time there's a world event, you know, you got to you got to play your cards right. Um, Do you have ones that there are, are some that because you, you both like, have very specific styles, and mm. that's I think what is brilliant about both of you. Do you, you have can, any? You that, can like, you well. To I put can it, read to one. Put it I can go. You, it's you a can tell an arrow from a clan. Yeah, you mm. can. Like much like an artist. Well, much a like a Monet from, from a Da Vinci Vango. time. Ah, whatever. We chose different artists. Please. But do you have ones that he shot like your favorite uh, Errol and your favorite Clancy, or even if you don't want to suck each other off? You can if you want, but you're just personal ones that were like, I was very satisfied with my own headline here. I reckon when the – I think it was one that I didn't even get – I might have been out <laughs> of the office, but it was um, when the honey badger – everyone was giving him shit about the bachelor. <laughs> yeah. And When and he when he said no. He, yeah, said no, 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 no. Errol said uh, you know, grown man <laughs> faces backlash for refusing to – Engage in arranged marriage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Shot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Errol. Yeah, no, the, there were a few pandemic-related ones where, like, obviously, you, you, you know, it's it's it, it was a very touchy time, but there was ones about like. You know how all these people who are marching, you, you know, all of them are like uh, from the the. The, 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 the work from home class and they're all you know protesting about having to work from home where it was <laughs> yeah we, we that was when <laughs> yeah, we, that right, was when right, we right. we truly decided to go against public sentiment during the pandemic and yeah uh, there's a couple of those ones where like you right, get the commenters who are like fucking miss the yeah, mark yeah, 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 no, so, miss so, the mark this doesn't age well this ain't it 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 is yeah. the worst <laughs> saying this ain't it man. Kind of. this ain't it chief. that was basically it was it was it was I so the, if the you young, said this ain't it you you're you belong in a gulag yeah we got we got put we got put on the this ain't it and it was it was when all those poor fucking it was like we had two lockdowns in Sydney. We had an actual border. We had a certain side, and, you know, you had people on the other side that were free. And then the, the people from the other side went and protested through the city despicably, exposing all of us to their COVID that only existed on one side of the border. Mm. And uh, we kind of came into bat for them. And it actually, it but it also ended up long term. It ended up, piss. yeah, you go. <laughs> but long term, it ended up, it like, that sentiment ended up being correct. correct. Well, yeah, we. I, I well, just, I just. It wasn't incorrect. <laughs> yeah. I just. I think we. Side, Every, right. <laughs> <laughs> we just sympathised with these people. They didn't have job care, but they couldn't go to work. They weren't from the working. It was actually. From a, home. It was actually a great call. Yeah. Yeah. Like we, historically, we, like the, the the people that were allowed to be free were actually more likely in the east, more likely to be working from home. The people in the West were more likely to be working class and more likely to be have to be out in the tools. Yeah, have to go. They to were the told to stay home and they'd turned off JobKeeper. So these people had no option but to protest, but everyone wrote them off as like anti vaxxers. And we came into bat for them and we got fucking strips torn off us. But that was not from, you know, the vast majority. No, which but is, that's the, the, the loudest vocal, voices it's came the from. The Dave's yeah. of the world, right? Yeah, the yeah, people yeah. who want to leave comments and shit. Yeah, but yeah. like it was, it was during that time when you would see there was. I remember seeing the first time I realised I was being fully hoodwinked, and not to be uh, just just in that whole crazy period was when there was that fucking picture on the front of the Telegraph. Uh, and it went around on social media of the guy punching a horse. Yeah. And he oh, had his, which was and complete he, bullshit. Dude, I saw that and I went, this fucking piece of shit punched <laughs> yeah. a horse. This fucking anti-vaxxer cunt. Yeah. And then you see the video, you're like, oh no, a horse like came in, came at this horse came at him and he was like, ah. <laughs> he tried to not get eaten by a horse basically and just like pushed it away. Yeah. How you often the, do you come into contact with a horse? Dude, exactly. <laughs> and the guy's like, this, and he's just sort of pushed the horse away mm. and they're like, this guy's punched a fucking horse in the face. Yeah, that was the first time I was 
was like, oh, okay, yeah. it's getting a bit out of control here. Yeah, um, it was. A, it was an interesting was time. But speaking of horses, speaking of horses, quickly, fine cotton. That's the final episode that you have. Yeah. We did touch. Well, we started to touch on it, but then obviously, as this well, listen, we touched and we didn't touch and we, we move no on. It. We, 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 we dance around it. But this was one that I thought was purely about cotton and some sort of cotton scandal. But it actually is about horses. Well, it's not horses. about. It's not about fine quality cotton. No, it's about a horse called, fine called cotton. fine cotton. Mm. It was the. the tell the, me what you thought of it as an absolute outsider. I thought, well, can I can I tell you no, what I liked I about I it? I thought it was. I thought as it a was person who thought it was about about cotton. cotton. Yeah. Listen, yes. going in, I knew it wasn't about cotton, but there was a period in my life where I thought it was about really, really fine cotton. It was more absurd than I could have imagined Thank when you. you get into the weeds of the actual <laughs> story, where you're like, we, we, "This I'm, is fucking insanity." <laughs> it was also about my wife's grandfather's cousins and so i loved it oh really yeah yeah as in mr big yeah cousins oh right okay yeah, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. yeah so i was frothing <laughs> <laughs> it all makes sense absolutely <laughs> frothing yeah no it's uh, a- uh, just one of the great australian tales i think yeah and it's specifically queensland in that everyone involved in this whole scam to ring in a horse which by the way we know this is Common. This is Australia, right? We know the common terminology. Hey, can I? I got a ring in. Can I bring a mate? You know, a ring in is. Like, well, I didn't realize ring in was so common. Yeah, well, that's what like, we said that it was so that the, term, the term. That term is, is a ring in. Oh, we'll bring another bloke along with us. That's a ring in. Like, oh, who's the ring in at the party? Though? Yeah, that it comes from horse racing, which means ring in a horse, which means bring another horse in in the place of uh, a horse that uh, you know. So you got a, you got a medium paced horse. Bring in a faster horse that looks like it. Mm. In a very slow race. Yes. So you get medium odds to, to slow odds for a fast horse. Yeah. Yes. And ring it. So what the ring used days, to happen. Dude, they used to, to happen every fucking yeah. weekend. This I didn't realise how common they were. They were. I yeah. thought this was a one off. Yeah. No, these no. things happen every These every guys must have weekend. fucked it for a Which bunch of Which makes you realise how much money they made. They made. Imagine how much money they made if it was happening every weekend. But then they fucked it one weekend. Although, but see, the first horse that this group of crooks had uh was an absolute dead ringer for fine cotton mm. absolute dead ringer and that horse uh got hurt uh that's it the way, they, way that that the way they got hurt out. is the most dumb ass way yes. that a horse got hurt like you guys are fucking so stupid. and and the fact that they decided to push on with it yeah. by uh, by you know using ladies hair dye to dye a horse the same color as Dude, fine cotton shout out to and fucking that aisle at woolworths where you see hair dye and you go well oh, see, i'm not gonna get it but I this do have is a grace. yarn that didn't make uh the final cut in the, is is that apparently one of the blokes involved uh because like as as you'll know if you uh watch the show is that it gets to a point where like yes you know people know there was a ring in yada 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 there was a steward's inquiry where no one turns up and that was pretty much it you know just like oh you know we'll let bygones be bygones this is joe's queensland this is blah, the blah, most blah, corruptest blah. place joe bjorki peterson i've heard the name and i've heard you guys say didn't really get an idea of how fucking hectic that guy was yeah, yeah. So basically, or his, so good. Or his racing minister, Russell yeah. Hens. Dude. Yeah, Russell, Russell, one of the great big fat pigs of all time. Yeah. <laughs> so like it like it was all, you know, like like it was cat hair under the rug. Yeah. And then one of the blokes allegedly involved, uh, was known to the Queensland police, was going for a drive around Brisbane some weeks later. And the cops pulled him over and they were like, you know, oh mate, like we know about you. Where are you going? Who you been with? And he was like, "Oh, you know, just going about town." The cops are like, "Would you mind if we search your car?" And he was like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, sure." And the cops open the boot, and there's like 900 packets of ladies' hair dye. <laughs> 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 and then one of the cops is, is is like, "Maybe we should write this down." So he wrote it down, and then one of the guys investigating uh, on 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 the racing squad, which in Queensland was like the most powerless thing in the world. It's like we have to have a racing squad on on paper, but they'll never do anything because we're doing so many fucking ring-ins. <laughs> but it got to the point where like where like this had gotten to the point where it, like they had found a person that, that, so big that they couldn't ignore. So that's what really sort of broke the case open is that they right. found a person. It was not involved that they had no idea about, but they knew that he was involved with some like heavy cats. 
down south, and then they look. The, then like it was like, why have you got this hair dye? And he was like, oh, like nine hundred packs of hair knows. dye. You're either a, like a fucking. Well, like, no one, uh, like, but no right. one knows how much you need to dye a horse. That's no. the thing. No, I know, that's, but like that's you don't that's know. one thing that they didn't know. It's like how many heads of ladies' hair are on a horse? <laughs> on a horse, <laughs> and impossible. To yeah, know. It's, there a, was, it's an absurd there was, unit of measurement. There was no precedent for that. No. There's, there's <laughs> so there's <laughs> so many yarns to that era, like. We say if we do a season two, it like we'll be delving straight back into that because there's so many fucking stories. Even cat, even interviewing Bob Catter where he's ready to talk because all the people are dead, head of police are dead, all that that whole government's dead. Some of Bob the was shit, ready to go. Yeah. Bob was Bob fucking he was sang like Sinatra he was on that he did. podcast. He was loving yeah. it. But it's like you, you, you don't realize just how much it was a banana republic. It was mm. the Wild West, and the fact that all of these people can be brought undone. By five guys standing around in the backyard in Brisbane drinking piss all day long. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You can't beat that. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't beat that. And they're the sort of yarns you can expect, punters and dribblers, at Paramount Plus, Batuta Advocate Presents. Yes. BAP, according Bap. to Dave. Bap. Thank you. The lefty blue hair. <laughs> Boys, genuinely, I thought it was fucking phenomenal. I actually think it was your crowning glory. Thank you, In Dave. my opinion. Yep. I, we've been mates for a long time. I've followed your journey. We've followed your journey. I thought it was the best work you've ever done. I thought it was fucking terrific. So credit to you. Thank and you. Well done. To continue the asshole licking, it's just <laughs> we, uh, continue, mate. Well, we're, we're going, going down, down now, mate. We're, we're down, down now. We're down here. Well, we're wet now. But Let's it's go. just, uh, and I don't know. We've probably always said it to you over the years, but everything you've done is fantastic, and where Batuta is and the the zeitgeist is amazing, and you two are wonderfully creative and uh sexy sexy people <laughs> thank you thank so, you gentlemen well done thank and, you gentlemen and uh, next season next season we're coming for manly <laughs> <laughs> love it Nothing leave down. ken alperson alive <laughs> <laughs> thanks thank you, boys. Thanks, boys. could you two just not talk anymore <laughs>